Hi to Chaco. So, let's get in this game. Uh, we focus Blade Master first. Ooh, what's happening here? What's happening here? What did the demon have to do? What? Huh? Um, is this a real game? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where's the Ace of War? Hello. Another mobile focus. Just grab this this ogre and this ogre with just his blade master. The focus already has two blade master items, a circlet and a close of deck, all for free, all for just killing the creeps. Uh, Elegant is uh, is playing some weird strategy without an insta war. This is so risky. What's gonna do with it? Is he gonna buy some mercenaries? But even then, how are you gonna stop Orc and Tune? Okay, these mercenaries have been bought by Focus. Elegance comes here, tries to kill Grunt, but Grunt runs away. Aki knows the Blade Master already level two. Uh, Shadow Stalker, the Demon Hunter, just level one. Oh, well, the Grunt came back. Okay, the Grunt came back, and the Blade, Ma uh, Blade Master now. Demon Hunter does kill it. 60 XP. He does have boots and staff. Level 5 goes down, Blade Master already, 3 items. Uh, Parry up, of course, not that good, but can, he can always sell it. Trade it for uh, a circlet. Demon Hunter very low on hit points. Is he gonna buy mercenaries? Is he going to. Uh... Well, actually, his Ancient of Winds are going up already. Maybe he can just hold it off uh, hold off any attack in time just with Druids of the Talon. Is this a new strategy here? Is this elegant, the new, the new meta for Orc vs Night Elf? Is that what you're doing here, elegant? I think, uh, I think not. I think it should, there should, it should be able to be punished. Maybe with like a tower rush. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. For a second, I thought this, uh, this troll was friends with these trolls that they were allies, but no. No, they're attacking each other. This guy's ensnared. So the demon hunter just goes for him. Blade Master is just too strong for the demon hunter. With the close of attack and the oh, sort of parry up. Level three Blade Master. Level two Wind Walk. TC is out as well. We haven't seen a Beastmaster yet. Does he have the money for it? He does not have the money for it because he's just playing Mass and Truth of the Talon. Is he playing solo Demon Hunter Mass Truth of the Talon? Is that his strategy? Is he just going to uh, not get the second hero? Not even get a third hero? Just uh, solo Demon Hunter to get a high level Demon Hunter and win the game? No idea. I think it's best of one, right? Is this best of one? Soka, do you know? Is this best of one? Best of one for now. I had a burn there on the Blade Master. I don't know. I mean, if you don't know, how am I supposed to know? Even Stoka doesn't know. Yes. Turn the Harpy Slayer again. There are no Harpies in this map, but uh, Druids of the Talon is the closest what we have in the game to Harpies. He's actually very good against Druids of the Talon. Where is the Snare? Or oh, did it just finish? It just finished. So we have well, a few Druids of the Talon already out. A Master is out soon. Demon Hunter is still <laughs> one though. This is a useless little Demon Hunter, the Druid of the Talon scouts in the center. He knows where the orc army is because of that fairy fire. That fairy fire was pretty important, in fact. You might wonder why was this dude of the talent here? He could have died to an ensnare. Of course, uh, Elegant knows exactly the timing on ensnare. I knew he wouldn't lose the dude of the talent while casting a fairy fire, so he knows exactly where the orc army is. Actually, it's going for his base. Master not done yet. Not sure why, uh, what he did there. Why his units are so spread out. Ace of Wonders being built. Okay, I found that it's best of one. Okay, thanks. Do you also know uh, when it will be best of three? 
Is that like the semi-finals? Or Ace of Wonders didn't get cancelled. It just died. J just got destroyed. The, the Jude of the Titan has went down as well. No Orb of Venom anytime soon. Shockwave hitting a few Jude of the Titan. Yeah, I don't know who... Uh, this is looking very good here for Elegant. The Ace of War isn't that uh, expensive. The Beastmaster, the Tinker. Just giving everything, but he has uh, he has Truth of the Talon, he has Master's Truth of the Talon. Truth is one uh, Ace of Wind, but he has two more, so it's not the, the worst. Demon Hunter is finally level 2. Uh, where did the Blade Master go? But oh, there he is. GG. Focus beats Elegant. Elegant did some weird strategy. Yeah. 120 is in, yeah, 120 is in, Infi is in, uh, do we have, yeah, we don't have Fly, because why would Fly play when he's playing so bad the last few days? Uh, besides that, just, uh, let's see, what are the other Chinese, Xiao KK is in, all the Koreans pretty much are in. God, it's fastest Korean or Chinese, but he's playing, Hawk, Hawk is playing. And Blade, Blade is also playing. Okay, yeah, Lolite here with Demon Hunter. Uh, and Music with his Blade Master. Okay, Lolite does get an Ancient of War. What a what an ingenious play here by Lolite, getting that Ancient of War. He also woke up the creep, so the Blade Master cannot do this. Even though he got Mikasa, Mikasa here for Music. Can he creep this? No, right? No. He cannot creep it. I don't understand why he tried. The Demon Hunter aggro to creeps. Uh, just so there's more bloodless, so it's much harder to creep for the blade master. Demon Hunter bought one of these items. So he's much stronger than the blade master right now. But the burrow and the grunt can always back up the blade, the blade master. Maybe this will do. Oh, good side for worker three strategy. Is there any good side about worker three strategy? I'm not sure if it exists even. Like um, good work of players, they just they don't go to a forum or website and talk about strategy. I know where you are. Or what's a good place for work of strategy? Right here. This is the best place. Anyway, the blade master really wants his level five ogre. He does kill it. Greater potion of healing, that's uh, not the best item. Of course he wanted the invul potion. And th in fact, this item is one of the worst ones. But he might, he, no, I, I don't understand. Uh, I don't think it's very good at all. Like when are you going to use it? Maybe he can attack before there's a cyclone and then he can use it. You want greater mana potion, you want a uh, greater invul potion. Even Scroll of the Beast is better than this item, I think. And uh, there's one item, the, of course, the one of mana stealing. I don't know, maybe the, even the one of mana stealing is better than, than this item, but you'd sell it. And he's not selling this one, so maybe I'm wrong there. But uh, Demon Hunter hunting down his grunt. We have uh, one archer, by the way, only one archer. Hunter runs apart. Blade Master does have boots, in, which is very interesting. Usually, it's not Orc that gets boots of speed. Usually, it's Night Elf. Uh, usually, it's Demon Hunter that gets the boots of speed. Blade Master is, uh, yeah, it's, it just doesn't have the money. It, does he have a third grunt? I don't think he has a third grunt. Because he bought the boots, and because he... Oh, wait. Did we see Shadowhunter? You see. Uh, because he got the third grunt, he... Uh, not a third grunt. Because he got the boots of speed, I mean. He cannot get a third grunt. He also got the staff. He spent a lot of money on uh, items and not on grunts. Meaning that it's going to be more difficult to creep with the TC. TC with just two grunts. It's going to take some time to creep anything.
And since the wind's going up, I don't think he can uh, do any damage anymore with this Demon Hunter and Beastmaster. And I don't think he's planning to. Maggie, we have Maggie the Beastmaster here. And Flame Seeker the Demon Hunter. He's gonna creep this creep cam. Now that there's no ogre anymore with the cost Bloodlust. Should be pretty, pretty easy. Blade Master, Mikasa. Mikasa. Research complete. Find some items. Um, no, nothing yet. The healing scroll and the info potion is, is too early. I wonder what he was uh, planning to buy here and not buy after all. I assume the TC wanted to keep this. Don't think he's going to be aggressive, right? With TC and two grunts and a uh, spirit walker. More raiders being summoned. Does he have a uh, pillage? No pillage yet. Hi, Chapo. Hi, uh, Asterlicht. Uh, Blade Master is over here, but he has no hit points. So maybe now this is when the greater healing potion might be of use. It saves him a trip home for healing self. Sure, uh, healing self much cheaper than a potion of greater healing. But, um, but since he doesn't have the healing self, he has to walk all the way home or staff home, get that uh, healing self, or walk to the TC, I guess. Get that uh, healing self, right? Where's the healing self? There it is. Uh, well, if he wanted to stay over here and do some damage, he could have used his greater healing potion. Demon Hunter uh, gets Ring of Protection plus three. Demon Hunter is getting pretty sturdy. As a circlet has a Ring of Protection, of course, evasion. And the Demon Blade Master is just level one. So the Demon Hunter is not going to die anytime soon. He can uh, even he can win a fight. Oh, he can win a one on fight one fight against Mikasa. Besides, uh, I mean, he has a level two Beastmaster as well. Well, the heroes are still just level one here for music. So heroes are right to weak. Manabur for eighteen. The Berserker is going to fall though. And Mikasa finally level two. Also the same here for Kel Stonebull, the uh, TC. Uh, did he just mana burn there for thirty seven again? Did look like it. Master, not yet. No master yet. More spears, cows, raiders, aggroing the murlocs. Okay, so he's stealing the, these creeps here from Loliath, but Loliath, I think he can already fight, can't he? How come the light is in such a good position? Well, his heroes are just stronger. Well, there's the same hero loves now, but it's still uh, still better, stronger heroes, of course, for a night elf because he has Master Juice of the Talon. Doesn't have, have a Tinker yet, though, because he couldn't buy it without getting killed by the Orc player. Research complete. Ready to rise. Wonder if he has an orb. He does have an orb. He has everything he needs. The light has everything he needs, and music is still behind. Needs another burrow. Oh no, the burrow just finished. That was a work complete that we just heard. Here. We need. Um, we need uh, items, of course, the info potion, healing scrolls. There's a healing scroll on the TC, healing scroll, and two info potions on the Blade Master. Nice. Okay, this radio is going to die. And we need 10 more supply here for Orc. If we beat Hawk already, oh, poor Hawk. What is this? A Ricket Contraption? And this radio takes so long that in the meantime, the TC to script this entire creep camp is pretty close to level 3. He even has close of haste. Maybe give it to the Blade Master. Maybe give the uh, Radio Healing Potion to the TC. Anyway, we have a fight here. He's going for the Beastmaster. Beastmaster does have a TP. Um, he might... Yeah, he, he's probably going to use it. Because there's no other way to save him. Beastmaster does kill a Grunt and a Raider in the in the trade, though. And maybe... Oh, no. Spirit Walker doesn't go down. So we have uh, 46 supply here now for Music. 48 here for Lolite and Music. Building more Raiders. Great. Killing the Clockwork Goblins. We have a Dispel. 
Out of mana. The light has a level 3 Demon Hunter, has a level 2 Beastmaster, level 1 Tinker, and the Blade Master. He wants to buy this Healing Scroll, but the Demon Hunter is going to hunt him down. Oh, he does buy the Healing Scroll just in time. Look at this Blade Master being so afraid. Mikasa. Mikasa. TC is going to be level 3. There it is, level 3 TC. Well, uh, the Beastmaster is still level 2, so that was pretty nice here by Music, getting his heroes back up to uh, the levels he needed. But Mikasa is still only level 2. So only level 1 Critical Strikes. Three Healing Scrolls here, though, for the Orc. Also has some nice items that he actually wants to give to the Blade Master. Give those Healing Scrolls to the TC, but of course, maybe not during the fight. It was a nice mana burn on this little Spirit Cow. We have... Uh... Okay, he's used the Info Potion to go for the Beastmaster, kills his Grunt. Uh, the Beastmaster, is he stuck here or? Okay, well, of course not now that the Pocket Factory went down, but he's stuck over there. He, he could have uh, microed him out. We can micro this guy now out to somewhere uh, safer. Instead of uh, next to the Blade Master, maybe some lucky crits could still kill that Beastmaster. Okay, no. Doesn't have a birdie here. Well, meanwhile, the TC, the TC is going down very fast. The rest of the Orc army, of course. Of course, everything died. Well, the Blade Master was being cycloned. Uh, the Knight of Army, Music, uh, Lolight. Did he lose anything, really? Lost a few Druids of the Talon. Lost an Archer. He lost like two Druids of the Talon, and that's about it. And now the Blade Master is going to die. He does have that uh, Great Healing Potion. And this is what I was talking about. How useless of, that item, of an item is it? Because he was surrounded. He, uh, the Great Healing Potion didn't save him. He died anyway. He used it, and he still died. What just happened? I'll tell you guys what happened. The game just unpaused. Focus Speed Lucy. Yeah, Focus Speed Lucy. Uh, which is interesting because her reprisal is... Oh, I forgot. Is her reprisal human or undead? Human? Human, right? Or in that? How come I don't know this? How come I don't... Uh, this the reprisal has been in the scene for over 10 years. How come I forgot where she, where she is? A uh, human. Thanks. So what do we have here? Chimiko has 49 supply here. Has an Arc Mace level 5. Mount King level 3. With a Bolt of Giant Strength. Info Potion. Healing Scroll. Uh, we have a one uh, use of the Wand of the Moon tier, and a Claws of Attack on the Arc Mage. He's a tier 2, has a tier 2 army of uh, Spellbreakers and Priest. A, the Priests are adept, the Spellbreakers are 2 and 1. He's getting 2 and 2. Okay, what about Blade? Blade obviously has a bigger army. Level 5 Arc Mage as well, with a nice Rope of the Magi. The Mountain King with uh, Info Potion, Boots, Ring of uh, Regeneration. In a circlet. I'm not sure what the Ring of Regeneration is good for in this matchup. We have Mass Priests. Uh, maybe you just want to sell it. We have 2-2 uh, two, two Spellbreakers as well. So he has uh, the extra armor upgrade already upgraded. I think we have 2-2 two, two now for Chimiko as well. Yeah. 2-2 so two, two against 2-2. Two, two. We just has uh, have a 10 supply advantage here for Blade. Chimiko has a bit more money. So I guess it's only... Uh, if he uses that money, only maybe an 8 supply advantage here. Or seven supply advance here for Blade. He kills all the sheep though. Let's uh, compare these heroes a bit more closely because they are the same levels. With the items, let's see, Claws of Attack, Circlet and a Rope. Claws of Attack, one, one of the wind, the TP. Mount King against Mount King. Hmm. It's not, neither of the heroes really stand out with better items, but I do think uh, Chimika has slightly better items. Also has that healing scroll. Not sure how good it is in Human Mirror. But uh, yeah, of course, uh, <laughs> expansion going up here for Chimiko. Maybe I should have talked about that, Chaco. Expansion going up for Chimiko. And what is Blade going to do? Blade has a supply advantage. 
If he used that gold for uh, for his army, of course, he would have had a, big, a bigger army. Well, Medallion has arcane towers. It's arcane, one arcane tower in the main as well. That's fine. Oh, bash. He bashed. Let's see some more bashes. Do you ever just get level 2 bash and, instead of level 2 stormbolt in this matchup? You cannot stormbolt spellbreakers anyway, but you can stormbolt these uh, priests. He doesn't kill it. 33 hit points. Stays alive. There's a stormbolt on the Mountain King. This uh, spellbreaker over here does go down. Doesn't look good for Chamika so far. Losing another priest. These, uh, they could have been cut off maybe. Yeah, I think he should have uh, trapped these outside of the base. I think just one spellbreaker moved. Uh, if one spellbreaker moved over here for blade, he could have uh, yeah, trapped them outside. If, uh, if that's if you can say that, locked them outside. Locked them outside of their own house, like they forgot the key somewhere. Lost the key somewhere. There's a stormbolt on the mountain king. So long range on that stormbolt. Both the arcane towers have been killed, and blade. I'm not sure about this position. This position looks much better here for Chimiko. I wonder if he's, uh, his army is just big enough that it doesn't matter. Like he's so far ahead that it doesn't matter. Mountain King fighting against his Spellbreaker. A nice bash there while the Mountain King here for Chimiko cannot even attack. He moves down, back to Spellbreaker. The Spellbreaker over here as well as very low hit points does go down. Mountain, on here we have these Spellbreakers that are locked outside of the base. Look at them not doing anything. First of all they're not even attacking. And they're also very vulnerable. Are they going to uh, try to hunt down these priests? But no, they're being hunted down themselves. Uh, the spellbreaker here for Blade is being hunted down as well. Is my quote out here for Blade? Uh, this priest, what was this priest doing here in the front? Well, dying, that's what he's doing now. Just uh, go down. And a town is under siege. 71 supply against 59. Feels like they didn't even lose anything in supply. Yes, so they are remaking units just as fast as they're losing them. Still 71 against 64. That's how the, the game started when they unpaused. Info potion used to uh, dodge that Stormbolt. We do have a level 4 Mountain King now for uh, Blade. Well, the Mountain King is only level 3 here for Tamiko. Archmage is also very close to level 6 here for, for Blade. And I wonder if he's going to pick Mass Teleport or uh, Burns Aura. This is Breaker Mirror. If you lose anything but a couple of priests, you fucked up. Oh. Some player has to fuck up at some point. There goes one uh, one dude. And the TP out here for Jamiko. Cannot defend this expansion. This expansion will go down. Jamiko has a lot of gold. Wait. Why does he have so much gold? Because he didn't have any lumber. Uh, Blade also has a lot of gold. He does have the lumber though. He should go to AD. Well, he's going to AD. Uh, maybe buy an item. He, he links all. Did Chimika use the healing scroll? Of course he did. It had such a small impact that I didn't even notice it. Well, maybe we are uh, come back here for Chimiko. We all know about the comeback of, uh, what was it, Sock, I believe, Human Mirror, a long time ago. Oh, actually not true, it was a comeback of Chamiko, yeah. It was a long time ago, I watched the game of Chamiko. He was pretty far behind, just like he is right now. And I said, like, if Chamiko makes a comeback, I'd, be, I'd become his biggest fan. And Chamiko did make that comeback, that game. And uh, that's when I became uh, Chamiko's biggest fan. Oh, level 6 Archmage. He did pick level 3 Brilliance or uh, doesn't uh, bother with TP. A lot of sense because there's nothing to TP to really. The rest of the game will happen here in, in the base of Chamiko. Uh, mass TP doesn't help you with anything. Brilliance or on the other hand. Yeah, more storm bolts. Yeah, 
Okay, they were a fight here, but the militia, militia are of course very strong against spellbreakers. Oh, but they are getting killed by the water elementals. There, one that gets dispelled, or the other one is for Chimiko. Look at these militia, they're so strong. Two, two upgrades on the militia, eight armor. Trumbled on the priest here. Uh, there goes one more uh, militia. You should okay. Does get a priest. The militia are uh, well doing damage, but they're also dying. We do still have a healing scroll here, so since the damage is all spread out, that healing scroll might be useful. The mountain king here for uh, blade danger. Keep is out. Keep is out. After killing some militia, after losing some priests, uh, did he lose any spellbreakers? I don't think so. Like you can't really lose spellbreakers. Because uh, you cannot stormbolt them, they cannot be slowed, and there's nothing in the human army that does a lot of damage. Okay, here we have another fight. Still have a 10 supply advantage for uh, Blade, but I wonder if that's actually in fighting units. His army is slightly bigger, so I guess so. I mean, you wouldn't have 10 supply uh, bigger army in peasants. Wait, here come the militia now, this time for Blade. So, uh, yeah, Blade should be able to win this fight. We have an info potion still here on Chimikus the Mud King, he has to use there. Uh, the militia are still militia for a few more seconds. Look at the, all the units are so hurt here. For Chimiko. He has to. Uh, oh, healing scroll being used there for by Blade. Militia, though, they're falling now. They're, they're being picked off. There's a healing scroll used for Chimiko. Oh, the king kills this peasant. He just stood next to it and the peasant died. He didn't kill it. But uh, all the peasants have been killed here. All the militia are no longer militia. There goes the spellbreaker. We have one more spellbreaker here, very low. And the priest dies as well. The spellbreaker here, very low. Uh, Chamigos is falling apart. GG, Blade wins this game. Easy peasy. How about 120 for Shao KK? GG. Is he blade number one? Blade, yeah, he might be number one here. He might win the horoscope weekly number seven today. Our forces are under attack. Is complete. Uh, we have a death knight here for 120. Did he did a weird build order again? No, he's playing a tournament, so he plays a normal build order. Has some fiends, he has a death knight. Level two death knight with a ring of protection, not a good item. Meanwhile, the blade match here for Shao KK. Also, ring of protection that's so bad. The surflet was bought from this uh, shop. Does get the Tome of Agility. That's the best tome he could have gotten there, I think. Just uh, a plus one tome. Looking forward to Focus vs. Infi next round. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Blade Master trying to cut apart this fiend. Nice coil saves the fiend for now. Uh, skeletons blocking. He's saving even this other skeleton. Doesn't want to give that 12 XP, but this skeleton will die. 12 XP given to the uh, Yoshira. Just need 40 more XP to be level 2. So skeleton not enough. Unless he's at tier 2. And he is at tier 2. I wonder if a skeleton... Uh, let's see, what's 12 plus 15%? Well, it doesn't matter anyway. He just kills the null. He's level 2 now. By the way, boots of speed here on the Blade Master. And he also gets his level 1 null with the Blade Master. Boots of speed, we don't see that often anymore against him that. Personally, I like it if uh, if the Death Knight still doesn't have the aura. If he's still level 1, I like boots of speed. But once he gets the aura, um, 
250 gold is quite a big investment. One is not gonna pay uh, pay off. Just a skeleton. Oh, Sentry Ward. He got Sentry Ward. Best item in the game here for Shao KK. There's one over here. So he sees this area of the map. Where does he place the other one? Seven hunters out. Uh, he's stacking to his fortress, getting a snare. You know what? Blade Master creeping over here for another nice Blade Master item. He sees the Death Knight and the Lich in the center of the map. Blade Master gets another circlet. That's a good item. Much better than the stupid Ring of Protection. So he got one. Uh, the circlet is the best one. The Sentry Wars was the best one. So you got the best one twice, and then the Ring of Protection is the worst one. So two times the best one, and one times the worst one. 120. He has a close of attack, that's pretty good. That's uh, pretty good as well. Let's see if he gets more Sentry Wards. Here's a creep check. Uh, Bill, okay, Shao KK does kill the level 5 null. He hacks the. Oh, he has Jojo Head Shrinker. He hacks the Death Knight. What is a uh, Blade Master? Are you sure? Jojo Head Shrinker here for uh, Shao KK. Oh, was this uh, this Lich? Kali Nash Death Knight. Kali Nash. What a name for a Lich. Poor Fiend. Oh, this Fiend is in trouble. There's a false, no, a false armor a coil on this fiend, maybe. There it is. It's still level one coil, though. This fiend is being uh, yeah, it's killed here by the blade master. Another coil saves for now. We have a raider here as well. Any uh, oh, KK knew he was gonna kill that fiend with just the remaining grunts, so he already uh, was uh, posturing up with the death knight, trying to kill the next fiend. But 120 saw it coming. Save the other fiend. He's getting a, a shade. And Shao KK, of course, going for this creep camp. Let's see what item he gets. He wants. What does he want? What does he want? Maybe create a healing, uh, a healing stone, a mana stone. Either would be nice because the shadow hunter does have any mana items yet. I always want at least one against that. Then, okay, our, our uh, Ankh. I don't think it's that bad in this measure, but is he gonna sell it? Sells it. I don't like selling it against him dead. <clears throat> it's pretty much like a greater healing potion that you don't have to use, that is used automatically. That's how I see Nank. Against Night Elf, it's of course very bad as a orc, but against that, I think it's very good. Because just because you lose your Blade Master doesn't mean. Uh, I mean, that loses loses you the game, right? <laughs> Losing your Blade Master loses you the game, and you do lose your Blade Master now and then. This uh, fiend is being attacked here by a Blade Master with Perch. There's a coil. Level 2 coil this time. Blade Master has to be much more careful now that we have level 2 coil here for 120. Offensive coil on Blade Master, of course, does a lot of damage. But we have a mana stone here for the Death Knight. That's a pretty good item. That's a really good item. Is it the best? Maybe not. And it gets uh, another good item as well. Wait, what? Who did they give it to? Why I give it to the Dark, Dark Ranger? Okay, because... Okay, he gives to the Lich. Uh, Rope of the Magi, plus 6 intelligence means... Means plus 6 damage here on the Lich. Lich does a lot of damage. Blade Master still being annoying me. Well, the TC level 3. No mana items for the TC. Creeping here with the TC. Did I say TC? No mana items for the Shadowhunters, what I meant. TC got some nice boots. That's pretty nice for the TC. Now his boots on both the Blade Master and the TC. Normally you just uh, don't really need the boots on the Blade Master. So you just give them to the TC. To 
and I think like the the balance of power has shifted doing that on the orc. Doesn't didn't get too much imbalanced uh, or imbalanced. Very strong items. Has a belt of giant strength. Um, that's all right in this matchup. I like it actually a lot. Belt of giant strength on TC. High rebel special. Orcs are slow. Yeah, I feel like he should have done more damage. He killed one fiend. He killed one fiend early. That's it. And uh, he didn't get any good items. Well, he got. Alright items I guess with the boots of speed and the belt of giant strength, but I think 120 should be able to win this game now with a superior micro as well. Uh, what's he doing with this acolyte? Oh yeah, more shades of course. Did he lose his other shade? I think I remember the blade master uh, cutting apart his shade somewhere. Probably near the sentry ward. A blade master needs an info potion. Interesting. Don't we have a blade? Yeah, we don't have an info potion. Uh, healing potion. Info potion on the DC. Well, here we have uh, info potion on the list, of course. Info potion on the Dark Ranger. Master being annoying. Shade over here, I believe. Uh, no, where was it? Pretty sure I saw a shade somewhere. Oh, here it is. <laughs> shade over here. Okay, we have attack 56 supply against 54. Uh, here levels are pretty much the same. 332 against 332. Uh, there's one code. Does he have? Oh, he doesn't have the code upgrade. What? Research complete. He forgot the code upgrade. Oh my god, the most important upgrade in this matchup. He does get the berserkers. He has. Three raiders, which is uh, a bit much for this type of a game. Uh, he also has spirit walkers, or at least a building. Doesn't have any spirit walkers yet, but he does have a spirit lodge. Maybe uh, he only changes, switches to spirit walkers later, but we have a fight. Nice score there, saving that fiend. One berserker down. Uh, Storm nice on two fiends. A raider, uh, grunt goes down as well. Second fiend does get a coil, so that didn't go down yet. Kodo was is hungry. Look at the Kodo being hungry, and he eats a fiend. Uh, he has another friendly Kodo over there, so I don't mind uh, being a bit more aggressive with the Kodos, trying to eat fiends. Blade Master cutting up a part fiends. Nice storm there. Another grunt goes down. We still have two grunts here. This Kodo eats a fiend as well. Uh, I think one twenty could have micro that fiend, but maybe he's still sleepy because it's early. It's not really early. It's I don't know, uh, but he uh, should have micro that uh, fiend. This grunt has survived with like 38 hit, four, 34 hit points. The Kodo being focused. Blade Master going for a statue there in the back. Uh, this? Okay, okay. Uh, the grunt has finally been killed. Saves that fiend. Now uh, Blade Master in trouble. He, no, Blade Master not in trouble. He still has a healing potion. And uh, Shadowhunter backing up. Oh, Shadowhunter's out of mana. That's what happens when you don't have a single mana item on the Shadowhunter. You're just out of mana so fast. Where's another coil there on the Fiend? Of course, the Death Knight has that mana stone. He used it, in fact. Used it in the fight. 56 supply against 42. Uh, one more grunt is going to fall here. The Berserker is going to fall as well, of course. Um, of course. But I, I, I don't mean right now. I'm talking about later in the game. Later in the game, this Berserker is going to fall <laughs> early. It's like what, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the evening in uh, China right now. Well, it's, I mean, usually these these players play till pretty late. So, um, you know, maybe they just uh, wake up at like 8 o'clock in the evening. Anyway, here comes the Blade Master and a nice stomp again. Is he going for the Death Knight? Is he going for the Fiend? He's going for the Fiend. A nice silence there on the TC and a Blade Master. The TC used the Info Potion. Does he have more stomps? He does have more stomps. And there goes the Fiend. Level 3 Dark Ranger because he killed the Raider there. Uh, this Grunt falls as very fast as well. Uh, there it goes. Statue uh, is still alive. 59 against 39. Yeah, he's going for the statue over there. What's happening over here? Skeletons fighting against the TC.
And uh, the peon here gets killed by the death knight. Shop here goes down as well. I just go for this burrow. I'm not sure if Shao KK can defend here. Uh, and in other words, I don't think so. I don't think he can defend here. Uh, there goes another raider. He is silenced. Another raider does go down. The Okoto tries to eat. Look how hungry he is. And now we see that uh, 120 woke up. Now he's microing his fiends. Now he doesn't lose him to the Koda anymore. The, sure, the Blade Nash killed one fiend, but uh, the Koda go, the, goes down. The healing wave just a little bit too late. The coil there on the fiend. Another nice stomp here on the fiend. He's uh, killing this fiend pretty fast. Okay, the coil was a second too late. But that's okay because I don't. Well, 120 is still very far ahead. Now the TC is going to die as well. The, the boot is not going to save him. This Berserker is still alive, even though I said that of course he was going to die this game. Maybe later. Okay, he didn't die, but GG, 120 beats Shao KK. Shaco is that intended to be funny? I love the humor. <laughs> A little bit. It's all based on truth. Just one small little snake, but I, I couldn't even get one snake there. Not even one. Infi first focus. Focus here, the blue orc from Korea. If you, of course, here, the red human from China. Work complete. Work complete. Don't think these players need much of an introduction. The Archmage is almost out, almost out, well actually just a few more seconds guys, just a few more seconds. I know we're all impatient, I know we're always waiting for the first hero to pop out before the game really starts, but it will be here soon, it will be here very, 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 very soon, very soon that Archmage will be here. There he is, Mr. Archmage, and he's going to keep this, meanwhile the Blade Master. Keeping over here, he got an early shop, so he will creep something, maybe something more, and I don't know exactly what folks are going to do. I don't know if he's going to harass after this creep camp, or maybe first one's this one, or first one's this one, we'll see. He, uh, he gets a close, oh my god, the footman! The footman killed the level 5 there, Infi with the beautiful timing there on the footman. I didn't think it would happen, that's why I was looking away like that footman is not ever gonna get anything. Well, he did kill the level 5, Pog Champ. This arc base now, already level 2 and a half. The Blade Master, he did get a close of haste. That's, of course, in this matchup, it's, uh, it's a pretty good item, maybe the best one. Arc base hunting down the grunt. The arc base got some shitty items, so. Shapers of Agility, uh, it's like the one of the worst ones. Ring of protection, also not very good. Blade Master is over here though. And the Blade Master steals the creep back. Finally some XP here on the Blade Master. 48 XP. He's going for the water elemental. Can he uh, kill it now? Beautiful micro here by Infi. He's going for the baby Murlocs. First he killed the parents. Now he kills the babies. Uh, Blade Master, what is he doing here? Maybe buying a circlet. Of course, uh, while he is here, Archmage can creep. Just creep the uh, baby Murlocs, but every XP on this Archmage counts now. He's so close already to level 3. And if he gets level 3, your tier 2 is not going up. Your two, tier 2 is going to be cancelled. We have uh, 5 footmen here and a water elemental hunting down a grunt. Okay, they're creeping. Infi. Uh oh. Lumber mill. Are we gonna see tower? Tower? Did he get that one, by the way? Maybe. Didn't get this uh, level three over there. Because he had forty-eight from this one. Uh, this is what level is that? 
level four. So it's like what 60 or something. So I think he also got uh this current actually did kill the cobalt. Level five cobalt still alive. Blade Master, did he get dusted? He is dusted. Blade Master has boots, Archmage has boots, all the heroes have boots. How many footmen here? Six footmen. Well, at least the Archmage is not creeping. At least he is still level 2. So focus doing uh, something right. Just keeping that Archmage level 2 is so important. Until you get your second hero, until you get your t uh, attack up. His attack is getting up. But it's still a bit... Uh, a bit... Still not in the safe, uh, safe zone yet. Still a bit dangerous. If the uh, Archmage gets level 3 now, but... I think it's probably gonna be too late at this point. The Cobalt, he might get the Cobalt. Oh, the Grunt! Blade Master! Who, who gets the Cobalt? The Blade Master gets the Cobalt, and it gets level 2 on the Blade Master. That, uh, uh, Focus really needed that. He really needed that. Um, did he also get the item, by the way? What item did he get? No, no, the Archmage got the item Illusions. That's why we see two Archmages. Oh, that's why we have two Archmages. I was wondering, why do we have two Archmages? There's Dust. Uh, again, the Blade Master kills that uh, Forest Soul Trapper. Blade Master now no, lo uh, no more mana for Windwalk. So at least this one will go to the Archmage. Archmage just needs uh, 32 more XP for level 2. He went with the Mountain King. I think... Um, Oh, is he going for Tower Rush? Priest, he's going Priest. We have a... Uh, ooh, the units here for uh, for Focus are pretty low in health. Chicken, Mountain King. Blade Master doesn't have mana. He's gonna be surrounded, he's gonna be killed. Can he save him? He cannot save him. Blade Master is going down and this Tower Rush is gonna be so easy peasy. The Archmage at the very least didn't get XP because he was hexed. So the Mountain King got... Uh, 50 x no more 60 60 xp for the level 2 blade master but the other 60 xp is just lost because the archmage was a, a piggy he didn't get the other 60 xp and it, it didn't go to the mountain king either it was just it disappeared okay never mind no towers wonder why he decided not to towers even though he just killed that blade master he has a level 3 archmage of course uh I think he made his lumber mill early because he had a very good early game. So he was planning to tower rush. But then he never got a level 3 arc mage. Okay, he is going to tower rush. Is he? And maybe <laughs> maybe he's not turning to tower rush. <laughs> maybe he's just creeping with the militia. Maybe he has enough lumber because of that early uh that early lumber mill. He has more lumber. So he can use his militia more uh, aggressively to creep. Focus, meanwhile. Shadowhunter still level two. This is a fake one, I think. Yeah, illusion. Blade Master is out. Level two Blade Master, of course, comes out very fast. Blade Master level two and a half. The Shadowhunter level two. And the Mountain King already pretty close to level three. The hero levels are just so much higher here for uh, for Infi. Tome of Intelligence, sure, that's nice. Level 3 Mountain King now. He does get all these uh, agility items though. That's not the items he wanted. First he gets the uh, Slippers of Agility. Now he gets a Boots of Kratalas. A Cloak of Shadows. Rings of Protections. A very bad items here in over overall here for Infi. But it doesn't matter. He's going to win this game anyway. We will focus. Uh, still level... Oh, he has a level 3 Blade Master now. Hopefully for him he picked level 2 critical strike, he did. Uh, Belt of Giant Strength, not a very good item there. He sells it. Buys a scroll of healing. And do we have a fight here? Oh, nice pick up there, almost. Well, does he get it? A nice bash there. This uh, Spirit Walker does survive there with 28 hit points. The Footman goes down very fast. The Raider is getting killed here by the Footman and the Spellbreakers. It does fall. This is illusion. This is the real Mountain King. Oh, the Berserker. What was he doing here? Why was he standing next to the militia? Of course, because the militia flanked. Uh, because the human base is north. 
So uh, the militia come from the north and they killed the spellbreaker. They probably also killed the spirit walker, this one. There was so long hit points earlier. Blade Master, does he get those sorcerers? Now the Shadow Hunter kills the sorcerers. Now we have level 3 Shadow Hunter, but his army is too small. We have to level 2 Healing Wave, but uh, his army is too small to win the game here. There's a nice Stormbolt on the Spirit Walker. All the Grunts, of course, are slowed. The Peons, they're not helping much. We have no Raiders, no Spirit Walkers, nothing besides the Heroes and one Grunt that's left and the Peons. This doesn't look very good here for focus. And uh, this is kind of as expected. Of course. Focus is a, a huge favorite if uh, if we don't have any of the of the top Chinese players in the tournament. But I uh, I don't think he has much chance against these players like Infi. 57 supply now for Infi, 40 for Focus. This Raider is going down as well. And where is the Mountain King? Mountain King was just buying some clarities. <laughs> he had such a big advantage, he wasn't afraid of just uh, pushing forward without the Mountain King. Well, the Mountain King just went shopping and uh, maybe smoking a cigarette. The Archmage just uh, went forward by himself. No problem. Here we have a fight. Another Stormbolt uh, on this Raider. The Raider does go down. How many more Stormbolts do we have? Plenty more Stormbolts. Plenty more. He uses one on the Spirit Walker. It doesn't kill it though. It first kills his Grunt. A nice bash there. What a lucky bash. Maybe that bash won him the game. Or maybe he had won the game already. There's a Stormbolt on this Raider. Now he's going for the Spirit Walker over here. He has uh, one more Stormbolt available. And then he still has a Clarity Potion. Blade Master at uh, nice critical strike, 141 critical strike. Go for the Mountain King. There's Stormbolt on the Blade Master. Who's going to die first? The Blade Master or the Mountain King? Uh, 171 critical strike there, but uh, he got bashed. Blade Master uses speed to, uh, speed scroll to get out of there, and there it is. Finally, GG. Infi beats Focus. And let's see. So so we beat Blade. Here we have 120 first check. Uh, what's the point then? What happens when two snakes hit, each, hit each other head on? They both die? I think I'm not 100% sure about this. Um, I think just a bigger snake will survive and the smaller snake dies. But it depends also of course on the angle, maybe because of course, if it's like straight head on, I think that's how it works. But if it's like with a certain angle, you might not actually hit straight on, right? So you have to always be careful. So that's why I'm not sure about it because I never just uh, tried to head on, uh, hit another smaller snake than me head on. Because if he at the last moment turns, I'm just going to die, right? So you still want to avoid it even though you're a bigger snake. Wow, this is now a strategy about Slither, uh, strategy stream, a Slither strategy stream, that's what it has become. Demon Hunter killing these uh, these guys, Manor of Health, let's see what he uh, gets over here. Next emote is Chuckle Phil. Wow. Because you can use it so often. I mean, uh, I wouldn't, I can always uh, Change the other emote if I get a better ID. I don't like my emote too much. Demon Hunter here with the slippers. The slippers, of course, very good item. The Ring of Protection, not a bad item against him, that. Not bad against him, that. Uh, normally, I hate this item. What is this base? What is this? What is 120 doing? What is this base build? <laughs> He's just slowly building towards uh, Goblin Laboratory. Maybe next building will be over here. And then maybe building over there. So, he, oh, actually, maybe that's actually a strategy. He has a Nerubian Tower over there. Yeah, well, 120, man, I love 120. He plays such interesting games. He tries new shit as well. He tries new strategies. He tries new base placements, base layouts. This uh, Nerubian Tower hits so much. 
hits his entire uh, area. However, if the knight hook comes from this side, it, uh, I mean, the demon hunter can just walk in and kill acolytes at this point. But that doesn't happen usually. Does not happen. Besides, we have four ghouls here to defend. But if you, oh, he's creeping this with the Nerubian tower and the ghouls. Man, against Zapper, I was thinking about the Zapper, but the thing is, Night Elf. Oh, we have Lord Malthazar, by the way. Night Elf doesn't reduce Zappers that much against him, Dad. Um, and also, the Zapper actually makes, oh, I don't know. Zapper can still hit the Nerubian tower, maybe an altar. I was thinking maybe he wants to build a building next to the Golden Laboratory so he can use it, but you don't really have to use it, right? I think it's just for this. It's just so he can creep with the Nerubian... Uh, please kill the rogue. Uh, with the Nerubian tower. Chaco Slither. Yeah, but it's a bit... Um, Chaco Slither isn't like specific enough, right? Like when do you use Chaco Slither? I think most of the uh, emoticons probably need to express some kind of emotion rather than... Uh... No, Chaco Slither doesn't really have any meaning to it. Chaco Phil would be better. Like, it ex oh, nice uh, mana burn, or oh, not mana burn, nice coil there just before he got mana burned. We have uh, two mantles of intelligence here. That's really nice for the list later. Ring of protection is of course not that great. So he got two really nice items and one bad item. Demon Hunter got a really good item. So-so item. And the Wand of Illusion, still not the best, but I feel like again, a Knight of, Knight of uses that pretty often with the bears. Anyway, Demon Hunter got surrounded, but he can't fight his way out. Gets a Death Knight. Death Knight got the Replenishment Potion, which is pretty good. Because he, uh, he's low on hit points, he's low on mana. Where is the Lich? Lich is out soon. Well, soon. Uh, Lich is training. I didn't know it said training here on top. Interesting. Ancient of Lore, of course. Um, Naga. No Panda. Which is interesting because he is creeping with the Naga. Well, I'm not a big fan of the Naga. I always, I, I always like that panda. I'm so much better. Just uh, don't know the exact game plan how to win with the Naga. And mostly that's because I, uh, I just feel more Night of players that go Naga lose more games than when they go Panda. He's not even uh, he's not even playing very aggressive with the Naga, just creeping. Does he didn't even pick any skills? Maybe he's going for mana shield. Is this the mana shield build here for check? We have seen it before. Boots of Quota last again, and not so great item here for the Death Knight. Our forces are under attack. Sold the ring of protection. Just so you had the inventory space, I believe, so you can uh, pick up this boots of quota last. Demon Hunter, uh, by the way, very nice there by the Demon Hunter, by check. Mana burning the Death Knight, making sure the Death Knight has no mana. That's like the most important thing in, in this matchup. He could probably, could he uh, bait these guys out in the range of the Nerubian Tower as well? I think so, so maybe he can creep that with ghouls as well. He's plenty of ghouls to spare. <coughs> Just gonna creep this with the uh, Lich, the Death Knight. But he gets uh, some. He's just sniping all the good items, but the list has to be careful there. <laughs> oh, if, the, if there wasn't demon under here, man, this list would have been so dead. This is so risky here by 120. He would have lost his lich, maybe lost the game uh, because of it, and uh, he only had this, himself to blame. 74 uh, mana burn, but we have plus 12 intelligence here. That's going to give later to the uh, to the lich. We have a third hero yet. Now we have ghoul frenzy. The Naga here, level 2. Staff, Info Potion, Healing Potion. Uh, the Demon Hunter, level 3. Yeah, a bit of everything. <coughs> a bit of everything here for the Demon Hunter. 
39 supply for check, 41 for 120. Is he, uh... Oh, it coils the Demon Hunter. Still has all the mana items on the Death Knight. Oh, the Death Knight! Very on hit points! <laughs> he had to TP out, he tried to go for the Golem. He uh, didn't get it, didn't get the XP, didn't get the item, had to TP out. Item went to the Demon Hunter, but the... Uh, one of mana stealing. Nice, very long hit points. 120, it's getting the Boneyard. Once he gets a bone, uh, Frost Worm... He should be able to fight here because... Uh, Check, checks is building expansion and does he have Angel of Winds? I don't see any Angel of Winds. No hippos. No hippos anytime soon. We have bears out yet. He's making bears, but we don't have bears out yet. Just try it. There's the first bear, I believe. It's a master bear already. Uh, oh, an archer got sniped there. Probably by that uh, death knight and the list. We have level three naga. It's actually looking pretty, uh, pretty okay here for one, uh, for Chuck. His hero levels are, are a bit higher. The level three naga already. The death knight, out of mana kinda, under fifty mana now. Lich out of mana. Yeah, it's looking very good here for Jack. Like, just a mana burner rest has been really good. That's why it's looking so good. There goes another archer. One, another... Uh, oh, did he give the boots to the Naga? He did. Maybe that was a bit early. He, w he wanted the boots here on the Demon Hunter still. Could have easily uh, mana burned the hero here if he still had the boots on the Demon Hunter. But now... Okay, actually he does get a mana burn anyway. 120 is like, yeah, you want a mana burn? Here, a free death knight to mana burn. And check is like, sure, I'll take it. But now we have a false worm and there's no hippos. So even without mana, maybe 120 can still win this fight. None of his heroes have mana though. So no false nova, no coil. There will be a mana for coil soon, one coil. There's uh, no destroyer. Okay, nice mana. Oh, okay, there is a destroyer. Uh, the, the mana burn beautifully, 70, just before he can coil. The false worm is going to, uh, he might cut back. He will, he will survive. Stops out the bear, I believe. Something. Uh, one ghoul down. Second ghoul uh, down to the fourth lightning there, level two. And one more ghoul falling. Demon Hunter uh, has to be careful here. Nice mana burn there on the Lich, just before the Lich has enough mana to Frost Nova. Uh, he had 80 mana left after the mana burn. He did kill a, a bear and an archer. Meaning the Lich just needed 7 more mana and he would be able to Frost Nova one, one more time. But as you can see, Death Knight no mana, Lich no mana. This is really what I pay attention to the, in this matchup. Just the hero's mana of the undead. The less mana they have, better it is here for uh, Jack. And we don't see a third hero for uh, 120. He kills one more ghoul. Level 4 Demon Hunter now. Oh, kills his own archer. We see Jack do this so often. Just uh, killing his own archers to make supply for other units. It's interesting because uh, Chuck, Chuck always do, does this. While the other Knight of players, they don't really consistently do this. They just keep their archers. They go over 50. Actually, he went over 50 now anyway. All right, so killing that archer, I don't even, th even think it was worth it. Like, he should have probably kept that archer. Mana burn for 76. Are you kidding me? He had mana for coil, but he got, got mana burned. This has uh, also a range of mana burned, brand burn. There it is, 100 mana. Uh, Lich was pretty close there to. Oh, Lich is, has to use the potion. There's a Tinker, finally a third hero here for uh, 120. Tinker does have mana now, of course. Okay, uh, Hippo's out. I didn't uh, pay attention to, if, to his Angel of Winds. There's a Hippo. Uh, we don't have a web yet. We have Abomination. But uh, this one Hippo is just killing this one Fossil Worm. Finally, he kills the Hippo. Saving the false worm. I'm not sure what happened to the second false worm. Did it go down or not? Uh, one Jack should probably uh, retreat here. Well, he does have two bears. I didn't see the bears, but uh, the bears. Well, the bears kill one of fiend. The naga though out of mana. So yeah, I don't think uh, Jack should be fighting here. Losing one more bear here. Does he have staff available? 
He does have a staff available, so I don't think he's gonna lose any more units. Where are the frost worms and how many do we have left? How many hit points do they have left? There are one frost worm over here, and I believe that's the only one. So the other frost worm did get killed somewhere. Lich is uh, Lich has some decent amount of mana again. Did he eat a unit? Of course, he must have eaten a unit. It's ancient war in danger. Expansion is up though, so 120 is on the time limit. But we have three hippos. This doesn't look good for 120 at all. This is uh, we only have one fiend with a web, so that means two hippos will be free to do whatever they want. Like uh, what they want. We all know what hippos want to do. They want to kill destroyers. They want to kill frost worms. Oh, and there goes one hippo though already. The nice mana burn there on the lich, I believe. Wasn't on the tinker. I thought it was on the tinker, but okay. Uh, and there's a mana burn on the death knight. So death knight is out of mana. The tinker uh, gets mana burn there. The pocket factory completely useless pocket factory there. I don't even. Yeah, I don't even know why he placed it. Might not have, uh, might have been better to not even use that 125 mana. He'd be at uh, 125 more mana right now. Pocket Factory was definitely a mistake. And yeah, level 3, Death Knight, 40 mana. Lich has some decent mana again. I mean, I guess his health, uh, mana regeneration is just so good. I haven't seen him eat any units, so maybe his uh, mana regeneration is just insane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 9, 1, 2... Three, seven. Of course, it uh, goes from three to seven because of this uh, statue. Uh, spirit touch. No, not mistake. Pocket for escape. I don't think he needed that pocket to escape. Really, don't think he lost. Uh, would have lost a single unit. But uh, yeah, he could make that argument. Maybe. Uh, maybe he was afraid that he would lose a unit. I thought about it as well when uh, when I saw the pocket, but I just didn't think it was very uh, effective. At... I don't think it did anything. Tinker was in range of the Dryads, but he was also right outside of his own base. But, I don't know, maybe you're right. I'd have to watch the replay one more time. Anyway, the Demon Hunter hunting down this feed. We have uh, three destroyers here in the air. We have one, uh, one, two fiends. Nice frost nova here on the uh, on the hippos. The two fiend, the two hippos are free to attack. Of course, uh, they're being slowed. We are f fighting on the blight though. That is not something you want to do. We also have the Nerubian tower here. Maybe 120 can win this fight. He's only one supply behind. So even though he doesn't have man on any of his heroes, um, if he's fighting on the blight. But this abomination does fall here almost no switches to the death knight okay finally he kills the abomination think about it very low over here just hiding uh no it goes down this fiend to go uh, will go down as well uh, 120 is just losing unit for unit even though he's fighting in the undead base of course we've seen it now and then where uh, night of just attacks in the undead base and that's when i when i was what i was talking about how uh good night of players that know when to attack in the undead in his base they don't follow the rule, never attack on that in base, because uh, at this point he did more damage than he lost. He might not be able to finish the game here. Lost uh, two bears there, but that's about all he lost so far. He killed uh, Fiend, Abomination, lost two drives there as well. But he has an expansion up. Killed bo two heroes? Yeah, two heroes, the Tinker and the Lich. Yeah, that was definitely worth it for... Uh, Check. However, he has to be careful not to overextend right now. Well, the death knight is so low. Use the info potion. Three destroyers here. Let's go, check. Well, it does seem like uh, check has won this game. I don't see a way for 120 to come back. Now there's a nice mana burn, burn killing that death knight. There it is, GG. Jack kills 120's Lich. Yeah, I, I kind of missed that. <laughs> I kind of missed the Lich dying there. That was uh, pretty important, of course. Uh, we have a Farsi first for Serene. 
Check your shorts for a small one. Uh, best of three, great, 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 great. And if you're playing human, assuming you're playing orc. Arc mage with a ring of protection. Uh, okay, no uh, no tower yet, so the wolves, they might be able to do some damage, but of course, if he has like the best micro of any human player ever, besides maybe TH. Um, so I'm not sure if these wolves are gonna get a single peasant. He has to resum his wolves pretty soon here. They're both pretty low, don't give XP. Doesn't. We have a dollar dam weaver with a ring of protection, by the way. So he's going, uh, he's going for dollar, dollar dam weaver, but the ring of protection protecting the archmage. He has still so much health because of the ring of protection. Meanwhile, what do we see here? We have a barracks. He's stacking to stronghold. Oh, the HP hit bar. Fuck. Stupid bug. I think there was a way sometimes to fix it, but it doesn't seem like this game. We'll have this nice hit bar bug. It's just beautiful sometimes. Um, the wolf here does go down. Oh, did it? Uh, no, he did summon two new wolves of, the wolves, of course. The Archmage didn't get XP yet, I believe, for any wolves. 164. How much is this creep game worth? It's. Uh, 96, oh wait, 120, no, 90, 90 plus 24, wait, is that it? 90? No, I can't do math. 120 plus 24, 144. So he did get one wolf. He did get one wolf somewhere on the Archmage. That is, that was my math. I just, my math, there's beautiful math there, Chaco. You were looking for a small snake. Oh, <laughs> oh that's what, uh, Okay. Archmage level two. Dark Ranger second here for Serene. <laughs> hey, there's the Chaco Math emote. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for the Chaco Math emote. Uh, Dark Ranger second. Interesting. This is a build I uh, or these heroes. I've tried these heroes uh, out as well. Like when I was playing like 12 years ago. I wasn't a very good player because I always tried to do my own strategies. I tried to do my own original strategies. And I remember I also tried uh, Farseer Dark Ranger. Uh, I didn't play with Mass Wyverns though, like Sawin is gonna play here. Uh, of course, with the Silence against the Dragonhawks as well. I played like with Shaman and Headhunters and Kodos. <laughs> didn't work, of course, because Rifleman just killed me. But uh, this Footman does go down. So many, so many, I do, I do job mess. I uh, love you guys. I, I'm so moved. He's going for the uh, first little shadow priest. He does survive. Dark Ranger. Maybe uh, she can uh, sneak some kills in here somewhere. Did he kill one footman? I feel like he killed one footman. But I'm not sure because I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh, we have a Beastmaster, Beastmaster second, of course, because he is expecting Wyvern. Maybe with the Rifleman here. Does go the Dragonhawks, even though he's playing against this, uh, this Anya, this Dark Ranger. Skeletons and Grunts against Footman. Grunts pretty low. Only one Grunt so far, I believe. Two Wyverns. What is this? This is a Skeleton. Wyvern's just going straight to uh, Infi's base. Let's see if they can kill something. We do have we have one guard tower. He's also building a drog. Getting priests. Priests. We have a berserker here for uh, for Infi. Guy of course can dispel skeletons, but he's he's just out of mana. There's a piggy. Oh, Shawin is trying to snipe this guy. He will get it. Turns into a skeleton. Uh, the Farsha went very low, by the way. Had to TP out. The Wyverns, did they kill anything? Don't see any bodies. The Drog is almost out. The Drog is out. Could snipe the Wyvern now, but two more Wyverns on their way. I don't think so anymore. Cannot snipe any Wyverns anymore. Meanwhile, uh... Infi, of course, creeping ASAP. He needs to get his heroes up to level 3. 
Oh, already has the arc range level 3, but his Beastmaster also level 3. If he has level 2 piggies and level 2 water elementals, these summons don't stand a chance. Uh, Heroes for Serena still just level 1. He's uh, out leveled by a lot. There goes one footman. Okay, but Serena gets this creep. Now he has level 2 uh, farts here. Kills uh, one priest and has a level 2 Dark Ranger as well. He's gonna get silenced. However, uh, we have a hawk here, so these wyverns have to be so careful because we have a bunch of piggies, bunch of water elementals. Uh, the orc army cannot fight Infi's army straight on. So uh, if one of the the wyverns gets tackled, he cannot save the wyvern unless with maybe a silence. More wyverns, just mass wyverns at tier two. That's what we see here for Sweden. I don't think Infi is going to lose against it. That priest. Beastmaster is level 2. Cause of attack here on the Archmage. Elemental of Evasion. Ring of Protection. Beastmaster pretty sturdy. Tom of Agility. Oh, he doesn't pick up the Tom of Agility. It's uh, a... Wavern? Wavern? Wavern, not Wyvern. I've never heard Wavern. Or do you mean uh, Wyvern? I've heard Wyvern before. Um, I mean, it's just easier to say Wyvern. Wyvern, yeah. Here comes the Archmage, almost level 4. I don't think uh, it's one or the other, by the way. I think it's like, they're probably both correct. But we can, uh, let's see what Google tra Google uh, tells us how it's pronounced and then I'll, I'll stick to that. Yeah, shackles that, that uh, wyvern. <laughs> wyvern, we have a lot of wyverns. Actually the wind rider, yeah. Uh, one of the drugs does go down. He uses another uh, another shackle. He cancels it, of course, because uh, the wyverns trying to kill the drug. He kills one more grunt. We're under attack. Level four archmage already. Once the Beastmaster hits level 3, I think uh, the heroes are just going to be too strong here for uh, for Infi. It's the heroes that kill the Wyverns. We're under bad Riders, more Bad Riders. Level 3 Beastmaster, 2 Rings of Protection. And uh, Talisman of Evasion, he's pretty strong. He's almost, he is level 3. So he has level 2 Piggies and he has level 2 Brilliance Aura, he has uh, Water Elementals. I mean, how is uh, how is Sylvian going to fight against this? Yeah, only has level two farts here. He doesn't even have level three. Oh, there's a bat rider. Maybe the two bat riders can do something. Farts, he does have a scroll of protection, but what's that gonna do for him? There goes a wolfie. Farts here, finally level three, but what is he even gonna pick level two? Wolves or, or uh, okay, did pick level two wolves. I feel like they're on, they aren't even strong enough against all these summons. Water elementals and the piggies are just better than the wolves. There's some uh, and, and, uh, and snares, I want to say, but uh, shackles. More shackles. Do we have a di uh, silence? I uh, did use a silence over here. I see the priest silence. Maybe he got a dragon hawk somewhere as well, but all the wyverns go down and this is going to be GG. Does he get the... I mean, it doesn't matter. Towers, by the way, here. 48 supply gets 28. So we, uh, there's no way he can make a comeback. He has level 2 silence now. This is the burrow. He's gonna stay in the game. He does have uh, spirit walkers. There you go. Ethereal. I mean, there's so many piggies here. They had to. They dispel one of the piggies. Uh, nice split on the other piggy. So only one got dispelled there. Piggy retreats. The shop is going down. 50 supply gets for 31. For uh, barracks. I mean, the towers are up. 
I don't know, what is Sweden waiting for? How does he think he can make a comeback? Scanning the Raiders. There's a 1 0 here for. Uh, in fee. Uh, how's it going? Hi to Chaco. Hi to Kako. <laughs> uh, hi to Kako. Kako was like a nickname I had sometimes when I was a child because Kak means shit in Dutch, so. But uh, I named myself Hi to uh, Chaco. The Chaco in, in my name is. Uh, because that's how you phonetically say my name. Say my name, say my name. So if that was incorrect, I would write it differently. So it's not, it's not high to Kako. Blade Master keep me here. here. <laughs> Didn't mean I'm so true. No, it's fine. <laughs> I know, I know. I know you don't know what it means in Dutch. So I don't do feel insulted. Just like, uh, do you know? Do you guys know Tice? Tice also a Dutch streamer, right? A Hearthstone streamer, and he gets triggered when people say L U L in chat because in Dutch it means dick. But uh, for me, it's uh, when I read L U L, I just read L U L in English, right? I don't read it in. Uh, I don't. Doesn't have the Dutch meaning for me to. Anyway, we have a. Uh, Footman being annoying here, and the Archmage as well. The Archmage got Cloak of Shadows and a Circlet. Blade Master also got a Circlet, or no, no, he got an item, he bought the Circlet. Uh, he probably sold the item, whatever he got. He does cancel the Burrow, we still only have one Burrow. He's building two more Burrows here in the back. Envy, very aggressive this game. Nikoro, did he get a Water Elemental? I do think so. Uh, Archmage with the Water Elemental, going for this Grunt. Archmage now, uh, he's gonna buy Boots, it's already seven o'clock. Oh, it's not 7 o'clock just yet. He's hiding. Uh, he bought the dust, but can he buy the boots? Who's got, who will get the boots? Who, have the, who has the better ping? Okay, the Blade Master does get the boots, so he probably had the better ping, or he was just spamming better. And uh, the Footman and the, the Water Elemental going for the Burrow. This uh, one Footman does go down. The Grunt in danger. Two, uh, two Water Elementals here. One blocking the Grunt on this side. Okay, the Grunt walks out past. Uh, the footman this way Two footmen have fallen though I'm not sure if it was uh, if it's still worth it to try to do so much damage here in fee e. There's only one grunt he's not building more grunts because I Don't know he doesn't have the money apparently he's building a war mill a bit too early. I feel like he, he should have built a second build first. Okay, he's building that grunt now. Now he tries to build the war mill again. He's so afraid of being towers. That's why he built a war mill. Blade Master healing also. He needs the lumber as well, of course. Because he had to use so many peons in the burrows to uh, hold off this, this Archmage harass with the footman. Have we ever seen this? Have we ever seen a game like this? Not recently, at the very least. Blade Master going for the footman. Can he get the footman? He does have the boots of speed, so it should be an easy kill. There's a third footman that's gonna fall there. Um, yeah, an Infi. I think he, uh, he never got that grunt. Infi didn't kill anything. He cancelled uh, some burrows. Cancelled a war mill, but he never killed anything. But the blade master is now level 2 as well. Well, the Archmage is still only uh, still only level two. He started level two, and he's still level two. But there's the Beastmaster. Uh oh, do we have the towers incoming? Of course. I've never seen Infi uh, switch to an expansion with the Beastmaster like Tamiko or Sokta do. Infi uh, always commits to the towers. Iggy is uh, hunting down. What's he hunting down? She's the Blade Master. Not. Did not hunt down the Blade Master. Blade Master still healing. Finally, the Clarity uh, healing self gets cancelled. This Clock of Shadows. 
as you can see, sometimes it's useful, a useful item. It's not always a useless item. Oh, and now especially high die. die. Oh, yeah, hit just before he got hexed. The Beastmaster in, in trouble now, but I think the Beastmaster should be fine for now because the Blade Master is so low on hit points. This Grunt, can he kill the Grunt? He's. No, the Piggy was uh, cancelling the healing self there on the Beast Master, Blade Master. Uh, Beast Theory being built. War Mill is up. The shop is gonna be focused here. Can he kill the shop? Does he need items from the shop? He uh, does need some items from the shop. He doesn't have any healing salves anymore. Oh, the peon that got killed that was repairing the shop. What is this? We have a piggy here. Piggy footman. But I think he can escape over here. And Blade Master cannot kill him. Because Blade Master can't walk through here. Okay, he uses a wind walk just to kill the piggy. But he goes for the, the bunny. From the piggy to the bunny. But the bunny hides. It's actually no longer a bunny. It's an archmage. Of course, the bunny cannot hide. Here comes the tower rush. Does he have a lumber mill already? Uh, no lumber mill. Does he have casters yet? Okay, there are some priests. Uh, two piggies here. Hunting down these uh, heroes. Those crits. Oh, I, I didn't see those crits. I wasn't paying attention to them. They were apparently not enough. Because, uh... Well... We still have the Archmage here. Okay, this day... So no more Cloak of Shadows, but the Blade Master and the Shadow Hunter are so low, they cannot even go for the Archmage. Besides, he also has Priest healing the Archmage. There is a Headhunter, perfect against towers, of course, building towers. And a Kodo. Do we have uh, defensive towers, maybe? Don't see any just yet. Oh, he finds a Sorceress, hexes her. Oh, maybe she could get one short, no, she couldn't get one slow off. Uh, the Blade Master healing. Okay, he's going for another search. I didn't realize there was another search. Beautiful block here by the Water Elemental. Can he? No, the, I mean, the Hex just lasted so long. Oh, but the Shadow Hunter, two hit points. Two hit points is that. Okay, the Creeps do kill the Shadow Hunter. And these towers, they will fall, of course, against the Headhunter, against the Kodo, against the Blade Master. It's just enough DPS. A Grunt falls as well. The, okay, they don't block. The, uh, I don't understand. He could have probably gone for a surround on Blade Master with the peasants, but instead he built. Uh, not, he goes for another tower, and Blade Master survives for now. I feel that was a mistake. I know Infi never makes mistakes, and I I shouldn't be criticizing Infi. He's a perfect player, but that felt like a mistake to me. He could have killed the Blade Master. He was uh, slowed, and the peasants could have easily surrounded him. Was he slowed? I think he was slowed. He's slowed now again. Blade Master so slow when slowed. He does have a healing potion and a scroll of speed. He's going for this uh, little seal that is actually a priest. By the way, we... Nikoro is the name of the Blade Master. He kills that priest. The casters here for uh, Infidre. There are quite some numbers of them. Three sorceresses, one priest. Uh, the tower again is going to be uh, killed here. That code runs away with the speed scroll. Look how far he runs away. He's really scared of the human army. This other Kodo uh, drank a water elemental. He still uh, has some decent amount of hit points, 500 hit points. But uh, actually he's trapped outside of his base and the piggies can kill him very fast, of course. Uh, Kodo being focused. The piggy does go down, but the Kodo goes down as well. And the water elemental will be saved. Who was probably so scared in the stomach of the Kodo. Slowly becoming one with the Kodo. This tower can be upgraded maybe perhaps maybe to something there it is to an arcane tower does he have a lumber mill yet no lumber mill so you only can get arcane towers when is shadow hunter coming back shadow hunter is back already cancel the healing self on the kodo the kodo is eating piggy of course piggy is of course the most tasty unit in the game tastes like pork and um, the blade master he is in danger he has a healing potion still doesn't he, okay, he does use the healing potion. The two raiders here in the front. Uh, with three hand hunters now. Uh, one of them will fall here. Well, Billy. And the raider as well. I think the raider and the head hunter are both going to fall. There they go. Uh, Beastmaster is fighting against the shadow hunter. He tried to kill his own water elemental, but I think the priest healed it. Or I think I saw that, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, he didn't kill his own water elemental. So the water elemental does survive. And we will live a life happily ever after not no longer uh he's no longer used in a war uh there goes the, the sorceress here she's a bunny she does go down 
Now she knows how it feels like to be uh, polymorphed. In Hex, I mean, I assume it feels very similar. Uh, this Hat Hunter does go down. And Master goes for the piggy. We have one tower up. Archmage uh, kills the. Uh, well, the Beastmaster, in fact, kills the Kodo. We're level 3 Archmage now. Level 2 Water Elemental is going to be huge. Another piggy sources over here. Uh, he does, by the way, have adept sources, so he can just invis. He could have invis the. Oh, there's an invis on the piggy, but he's in snare now. Blade Master, 22 hit points. Enough. Uh, the slow on the Shadow Hunter means he's going to die. There's no way you can save him unless uh, maybe you can buy an item. Like a speed cool. Well, the Shadow Hunter does go down. This radio will fall. I think this game is pretty much over. But it just needed a drink. Can the water elemental expire in the Kodo's belly? Yes, it can. And then it doesn't give XP, of course. LUL, of course, it's not in, in caps. The LUL uh, in Dutch is not written in caps. Maybe that's why it's so easy for me to uh, to disassociate to disassociate the meaning. We have an invisible hawk here. Again, so insane in the game. Oh, he kills another priest. Level three Nicaro. Maybe if he picks level two critical strike, he can still win again by ten critical strikes in a row. Well, maybe he needs more than 10. 20 critical strikes in a row. He can still win the game. Always stay in the game if you have a Blade Master. Because you never know how many crits in a row you're going to get. Um, but the Blade Master is going to die now. If you want to do 0 over Sawin. It's... Oh. Moon's still playing? Yeah, we saw him like in GCS. He didn't do very well, but... I mean, he had to play against Fly. So Fly didn't do very well either, so I guess wasn't very good there by Moon. Anyway, we have check here with Demon Hunter. He gets a Circlet of Nobility, pretty good item. Meanwhile, Reprisal, Creeping over here, has Water Elemental, Barracks. Perfect. Bring of Protection. Nice early game. Beautiful Creeping by both players. Uh, the items are, of course, much better for the Demon Hunter than the Archmage. Ring of Protection, not very good. Circlet is the best item you could have hoped for. It's just, he's just even going to creep this. So he can expand here later. He can expand whenever he wants. Hey, Baldemus. Welcome back to the stream. Demon Hunter just killing this ogre. Look at him dying fast. And one more hit. There, the archer kills it all. The archer finishes it. But he gets a Ring of Protection. Not the best item. Flame Seeker should... Uh, should start off with uh, immolation. Well, he started out with evasion. He might get immolation though, because he got a uh, circlet and a uh, ring of protection. He didn't get any claws, he didn't get any uh, blows of haste. So, where does he get his damage from? Well, maybe from immolation. And because of the circlet, he has more mana as well. He has uh, more armor, more durability, more hit points. Maybe it goes immolation. With these items, it does make a lot of sense. The Ring of Protection as well, of course. But if he finds the Archmage here, outside of his base, he might just go for uh, Mana Burn instead. Start Mana Burning that Archmage. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't pick Mana Burn just yet. Okay, the Footman and the uh, Water Elemental are going to fight against the one Archer. Can the Archer defend the base by herself? Some people would say yes. We have Boots of Speed here on the Demon Hunter. No dust. Mana burn, he went mana burn, as I expected, like in a, this, oh, he's surrounded by the footman. In a defensive uh, position like this, you don't really want immolation. We have an archer over here as well. Actually, I missed something, didn't I? But he has a bunch of archers over here. So he killed one peasant. One peasant, that's it. I guess he can just kill the tower. Uh, did believe this tech? Leave tag to keep? Are you kidding me? Have you ever seen this before? I've never seen this before. I guess he didn't think he could uh, set up an expansion with all these archers there. Well, Archer knows about it, I think. Yeah, he doesn't see the expansion. Doesn't see any more peons walking this way. Last time he saw the peons move back to the base. 
But isn't this just very good for Jack? We have seven footmen. Has a lot of footmen. Maybe he's gonna win with mad footmen. Do we have he, we do have dust? This archer is so that as a skeleton. A mana burn of six. Nice timing on the water elemental. Sees the demon hunter immediately presses the water elemental. Mana burn for six, that's uh pretty bad. However, it wasn't full mana anyway, so it's not the biggest deal. We'll regenerate the mana from the mana burn. We have, we do get the sentry wards there, by the way, for Demon Hunter, which is a very nice item. This uh, Angel of Wonders does get cancelled. We have a Naga second here for Chak. We'll be able to defend here with the Naga, of course. The Archmage has boots of speed. I don't think the Archmage is in trouble. Uh, and there's still so many footmen here. Do they have defend? They don't. Where's the Naga? Finally, Naga. Naga will help pick off some footmen. At least one here. There's one. At least two here. There goes number two. Probably no more. Even well. Who's an archer? Okay, he lost the archer. He killed that uh, second footman, but because of that, he can get more footman. This archer though, also going to die. Check losing a bit too many archers there. I feel like, well, especially that second archer wasn't really needed uh, to die. She didn't need to die. Almost uh, surround there on the demon hunter. Four footman, one archer here. Archer is still over here playing with the sheep. I think the sheep know that there's an archer here. Even though it's, they cannot see her, they can smell her. Oh, now they can see her. The archer, uh, she thinks her, her cover has been blown by the sheep. Maybe these sheep are uh, working for the human army like mechanical critters. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Sentry ward, but I think, uh, believe, uh, not believe, reprisal heard the sentry ward being placed. So, is he gonna buy dust? Your building is complete. I have a wisp over here. Ace of Lords are up. Bats are being summoned. We have riflemen here for uh, Rysel. Getting the riflemen upgrade, getting priests. It's so interesting, it's so weird. Even on this map, or on this map, not to go for an expansion against Night Elf. I think even like players like the European human players like Hawk and Blade and Imperius maybe even get expansion on this map. Okay, maybe not Imperius, but the other players, the other European players, they get expansion on this map against Night Elf. But Reprisal here, no expansion. Well. Uh, 16 supply advantage right now for Reprisal. He has to uh, push here and win the game. Because once we got Master Bears, once we get Master Bears, um, yeah, it's gonna be a very uh, easy game for a check. So, picks up one footman, check picks up one footman there. The militia check, of course, build AP AP because he knows he just needs to survive two bears. If he gets two bears, he's gonna win this game. He uh, drops down an uh, item, uses the Moonwell. Uh, the APAP does go down, didn't have enough uh, uh, wrist player repairing it. Uh, level 3 Demon Hunter now though, level 2 Mana Burn. He needs to Mana Burn the Archmage one more time. He's hunting down the Naga first. Oh, he Mana Burn on the Priest? Oh, he kills the Priest, but this might give him an uh, opportunity to summon one more Water Elemental. Or maybe he wants them to summon the Water Elemental so he can dispel it for more XP. Uh, he kills the Rifleman. There's a Rejuvenation, there's no Spellbreakers, it's all loop. Not that great here for reprisal, even though he still stands 10 supply up. There's a mana burn on the Naga. Naga at 48 uh, XP, uh, mana points. Archmage at uh, 80. There goes another archer. He still has more mana burns available. This bear is still adept. Getting master. He also wants more bears. He's uh, He has 200 gold. How much money does a bear cost? 255. 55? What did you say? Mana burn there on the Archmage, just in time before he got and cast another water elemental. It cast one earlier, and it uh, didn't get dispelled. Three riflemen now, and two, uh, two priests, but they're not doing enough damage. The towers, two arcane towers though, they will go up before uh, 
Czech has a chance to break out here. Wisp going to repair this angel war. Uh, Naga just sniping these wisps one by one. The wisps sniper. Precision detonates. No more mana on these heroes. Uh, regeneration. Doesn't even need to go in to do a mana burn there. Because there's just no mana on the heroes for uh, for reprisal. We have uh, two master bears. Oh, he needs to. Uh, he cannot let the lumber mill go up there, but I don't think he can fight here with two, only two bears. He, he needs like two more. At least. Well, you will we'll get one more. Okay, he's trying to snipe the priest and the footman at the same time, while the demon hunter at the same time also sniped the naga. In other words, he's uh, taking everything. <laughs> He's spreading out his damage, he's not timing anything. The Naga now going for the uh, priest. She does get the priest. The demon hunter mana burns the uh, Archmage, beautiful mana burn there. The Naga losing all her mana, so no more slow. Uh, Stops out the demon hunter uh, with the third bear. Then one more bear and two more dryads. This does look like it uh, It was held off here. Check. Buys an orb even, orb of venom. Only two uh, arcane towers. Okay, this lumber mill. He cannot let this lumber mill go up though. Needs to kill it ASAP. There it goes. This Baron just dried very low on hit points though. He rejuvenates the demon hunter. Mike goes back. The Baron the dried for now. That's a rifle, man. There it goes. Does he have stop for this bear? Well, his Naga is all the way there. So now the bear went down. Demon hunter by himself is just doing so much damage. Of course, he has the orb. There's. Uh, I think oh he didn't have mana for mana burn because the arcane towers killed all the mana the towers are falling there's just one arcane tower left he can easily kill it easily peasily it goes down even hunter has to be a little bit careful here though it's out of moon juice but it just turned night so he's regenerating moon juice as well again buys a healing potion uses it he's the supply block that 40 supply check is reprisal is he doing anything in the background i don't think so he's not Working on any backup backup strategy, he needs to win here. But the longer this goes, the less chance it seems like he has. Demon Hunter, uh, pretty low on hit points. He has one more healing potion. Uses it. This uh, rifleman is probably going to die pretty soon. Maybe there it goes. Rifleman, uh, this priest, same story. This rifleman, same story. Demon Hunter, uh, make sure it dies. This this uh, bear will fall as well though. I mean, uh, Reprise still has a supply advantage, but it doesn't look very good against the Master Bears. And a burn there on the Archmage. The Moonwell did go down. We have no more mana. And the Naga goes down. Level 4 Demon Hunter means level 2 Evasion makes him even more sturdy. By the way, he also has the Ring of Protection, so he's pretty sturdy. And one more Rifleman. GG, right? Virgin Evasion too strong. One breaker would have been needed. Yeah, one breaker would have been uh, nice, I guess. Maybe, maybe he could have won with one breaker. Now 33 against 33 supply, but all know that the Knight of Army is stronger than the Human Army. Mana burn on a priest for 22. Human Hunter uses a heal potion, kills one priest. This priest, uh, this rifleman, goes down, not down actually. Do you really think Grubby's IQ is 55 or the so-called Swifty 5? Uh, I can confirm his IQ is actually uh, Swifty 5. I've met him in uh, person a couple of times. Um, everything about him, everything about him. It's just uh, exactly like in that clip of Swifty 5. So that's how I know. Swiftify? What you say? Swiftly Lou. Swiftify. But it's all not all about IQ. You luckily for Warcraft 3 you don't really need to have a high IQ. That's why Grubby is still pretty good. Even though he just has 55 IQ. I mean look at this Archmage. Archmage only has 28 uh, IQ and he can summon water elementals. No, it's not always about IQ. IQ just uh, means how much mana you have. But it doesn't mean how good you are at Warcraft. Right, like the Archmage has 23 IQ. Demon Hunter has uh, 20 IQ, 18 plus 2. But the Demon Hunter is still gonna win a one on fight with the Archmage, right? By the way, the Archmage has uh, Slippers of Agility, not very good item for the Archmage. 
Claws of Attack, very nice item for the Archmage. He's throwing his fireballs at the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, Cloak of Shadows. Might be useful. Have we seen an expansion? But we don't see an expansion, so it's not going to be useful. You're just going to sell it. Circuit, of course, very good item. That's an insane item there on the Demon Hunter. He got the last game as well. That's why he won Mana Burn for 13, just too late. Just too late. Who has the highest IQ in work of three heroes? Um. Lich, I think. I don't know the base IQ, but the Lich. The Death Knight always collects all the IQ items for the Lich. So when the Lich is born, he. Uh, Death Knight already taking care of all the preparations. Gives the Lich a bunch of IQ items. And Lich is very happy with that. Let's see, the Demon Hunter. However, the, because the Lich is usually later than the Archmage, Archmage is the first hero though, so on average the Archmage is higher level than the Lich, which means on average he probably has higher IQ. So maybe it's the Archmage and not the Lich. The Archer has to be careful, we have a bunch of Archers, four Archers here and a four Soul Berserker, uh, Shadow Priest. Uh, one Archer might fall here, no, she drinks the Moon Juice. No uh, boots of speed on Demon Hunter, but we do have boots of speed here on the Archmage, and it's gonna go Naga second. Maybe did we see Reprisal play against any Night Elves yet in this tournament? Let me quit, check this uh, check this real fast. Reprisal, yes, he bit Low Light and Foggy. In fact, he only played against Night Elves in this tournament. He beat Foggy and Low Light, so maybe Reprisal is very good against Night Elf, but he did lose the first map against uh, Jack. Maybe Jack saw those games and he knows Reprisal just does his uh, tier 2 tower rushes. He does go for defense, he's getting blacksmith. Again, we'll see, see Rifleman tower rush. But they say you can't change your IQ, how it's possible in Warcraft 3 that you can improve your IQ. It's because it's it's a lie, of course. Of course you can change your IQ. Upgrade finished. Uh, do they say that? I don't think... That, I think that's like one of those myths, myths that's uh, incorrect. Of course you can change your IQ. It's not genetic. There's, there's no genetic uh, IQ thing. It's just uh, IQ just uh, tests certain uh, thinking patterns. You can change this. Uh, you can change the way you think. I mean, especially because the IQ tests are uh, done in a certain way. They're all. Uh, they test it, like the way they are tested are done in a certain way. So if you do an IQ test and you, uh, you train for the IQ test, you learn about these questions. You practice those questions. Of course, you're going to do better in the IQ test, just like you can uh, learn to do better in Worker 3. Manual of help. How do you change it? I mean, you don't want, even want to change this, man. Because uh, your IQ doesn't affect your your life happiness. Let's go for the Naga. Uh, both players have the Naga. Now it's going for the Archmage. Can he kill the Archmage? Uh, the, we do have no boots here for uh, for check. But he does manage to uh, scare away both the Naga and the Archmage here for Reprisal. There are books about how to improve your IQ. If you really want it. But instead of improving your IQ, it's uh, more important that you learn, learn to think in a way that benefits you better in your daily life. 37 for check. I think he's gonna defend again. 3 return T. He's getting bears. Uh, he doesn't have AP AP this game though. But he bought so much time there by focusing the heroes uh, over here. He bought so much time that this uh, footman purse was a rifleman. I mean, usually it's a rifleman purse, but we have so many footmen that I call a footman purse. It's just, uh, I don't think he's gonna finish check in time. Once a wisp starts repairing the moon well. We have. Uh, one Druid of the Claw is still adept. 
Is he okay? He's still not. Uh, he's still pretty far from to of eternity. So, oh, the demons are surrounded. No staff yet. They said the Ancient of Wonders is taking some time. He will be forced to TP. Uh, and he TP's pretty late, but in this situation, that's perfectly fine. There goes a uh, Forest Soul Berserker, though. Uh, Forest Soul Shadow. Forest Soul Shadow Priest. Yeah, Forest Soul Shadow Priest does go down. Regeneration here on the Demon Hunter. He's uh, killing Footman here. We have uh, six footmen, seven footmen. Arcane Tower going up here. Great finish. I mean, the uh, uh, bear master upgrade is being upgraded with uh, 53 supply here for a uh, price of 41 here for. For uh, what's his face for check? Anything strange here for price or no? Just no lumber mills and no guard towers. But you don't even want guard towers. Just want those arcane towers. Against the bears, arcane towers are better than guard towers anyway. Comes the demon hunter. Still full man on demon hunter. He's going for the tower. He wants to kill the tower. Gets the tower. Easy peasy. He has so many bears already. Three bears. They are master now. Rejuvenate. Three master bears. At this point, I think that's enough. He still has some moon juice available as well if he needs to heal. Like this one is still full, 300 mana. Uh, there goes a footman. And uh, I think there goes the chance here for Reprisal to win this game. He's still 13 supply up, but. Yeah, it has been thwarted. His, uh, his tower push has been thwarted. Thwarted. That's such a nice word, thwarted. Uh, fast dispel versus elf. Momo gap is so nice. It's like a thigh gap. I don't like thigh gaps, by the way. Um, I'm not a big fan of thigh gap. In fact, I'd rather have no thigh gap. Is this bear stuck? No, I don't think so. Humans need human needs mortar teams. The thing is, with this strategy, you cannot go mortar teams. It takes too long. You give too much time to the night elf. Uh, so, of course I agree with my expansion, uh, mortar teams are definitely necessary. But what he's just trying to do is kill the Night Elf before Night Elf gets bearish pretty much, before he gets Master Bears. And it didn't work, it didn't work last game. I don't know, uh, I didn't see the games against Low Light and Foggy. But I assume he did the same thing and it did work. Uh, Skull of the Beast has been used. I mean, some of the bears are pretty low, maybe uh, there's still a chance here. Maybe there's still a chance here for a reprisal with the militia. Of course, the demon hunter's not level three yet, but now he is. Just as I say, he's not level three yet. He gets level three. Naga already level two as well. Reprisal should go for the expand. Yeah, I'm, I've been thinking about that as well, but I don't know. I don't think it would work because. The Knight of Army is just stronger than the Human Army at this point. You can just stop the expansion. There's a mana burn on the Archmage. Archmage... Uh, from Fireballs. We have five Archers still. That he can now snipe some Priests. Instead the Footmen are sniping the Archers. Four Archers now. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, Nagas. Which one is the real Naga? Did she die? She did die. I was fooled. I didn't know. I heard the, uh, the death cry, I think, but I wasn't paying attention to the Naga. Another bear coming in. 44 against 44 supply. Where's the regeneration on the archer? Okay, on the archer. <laughs> saves his archer. He loses uh, his other archers. And uh, bears are just killing whatever is in front of them. The Naga in trouble, though. Naga is... So, yeah, Naga dies. The demon hunter killing the units over here. The bears are killing the units over there. Both sides are seem to be winning for uh, for a check. Besides the Naga dying there, though, uh, the priest that's uh, this is not the priest. This rifleman did survive. There's another regenerate on the demon hunter. Again, there's not no spellbreaker here, not a single one. Oh, he did use a dispel, I believe. Uh, no, did he use dispel? How come he still uh, roared? Maybe he used a dispel and then there was a roar after the dispel because the regeneration lasted way too long. There's the Naga coming back. 
and here's the naga over here coming back she will be here first of course the human the human army is better than your army baby rage i should uh I don't know where I can find. Oh wait, 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 wait. Demon hunt to the center. Target. I'm going to buy a for this. Build to heal to full health. I don't know. I don't know where to find it. Anyway, uh, reprise are creeping over here. Why don't you set your observer mode on a random place? I mean neutral. There's no neutral... Oh, sorry. Thanks. Thanks for helping me out here, uh, Miro sli Slave. I'm just not used to it because usually I cast net these games, just uh, letter games, and then there's no neutral player. I totally forgot about it. Thanks for the uh, advice there. Naga is almost level 3. Demon Hunter almost level 5. Uh, Water Elemental gets this spell. Level 3 Naga now. 48 Spike is 49. But these heroes are just a bit too strong here for Night Elf. Also the bears are too strong. Do we have uh, anything like Mortar Teams or Spellbreakers? He does lose another Rifleman. I don't see any. any. Oh, man, these units dying so fast. This is so insane. The bears is too strong. Mana for 96 there on the Naga. Right, uh, Militia coming in to help. Info potion used on the Naga. She's still level two. Only she's killing one bear almost, but the bear gets stopped out. No XP. The Naga is still level two. And we have a uh, rune brace, by the way, on the Demon Hunter. Doesn't matter too much because uh, it's only for lighting really here for magic damage. The bear, uh, the sources does go down. This rifleman goes down, and. Uh, yeah, doesn't look good for a price, so he's now down to 35 supply, 56 here for check. He needs spell breakers, but at this point I don't think it would have mattered really at all. Like he's just so far behind. He was so far behind after uh after check hold this attack over here. All the uh all the all-in attack. It's pretty much the all-in attack. That the reprisal did there and check hold it, so he just won the game. It was just so far ahead. Feel free to post your videos in the Warcraft 3 Facebook. Okay, I'll I might do that. I mean I just started uploading YouTube videos, but I haven't uh done any marketing for them or any, anything and I haven't posted them anywhere. Okay, we have another fight here, but we know it's all gonna be we all know it's gonna be one-sided here. The sorceress does get in stared, she does go down. We have two creeps here. And staring the bear. Maybe with uh, one bear less here. We have a bit better chance here for a reprisal, but he's still 13 supply behind. <laughs> 13 supply. He wasn't able to win the fight when he was 10 supply up. I was gonna win the fight if he's 13 supply behind. He's losing another rifleman. This rifleman as well. Two, more ri two riflemen dead already. Nothing died yet for uh, Shaq. Demon Hunter did a nice mana burn there. Which is another mana burn there on the Archmage. What can, what can I do? What can I do? Is that how you pronounce it? What can I do? In, mm. This isn't live. This is live. It's three minutes late. Yeah, all of these games are three minutes late. Uh, just so the, it's harder for people to cheat. Go for the Naga. Kills the Naga. This has to be GG. Check dominating this tournament. Check won the tournament. Sorry for the spoiler. <laughs> oh, damn, we got spoiled here. So we have uh, Check versus Infi in the final. Of course, it's going to be so easy for Infi. It's going to be so easy. It's going to be uh, insanely easy. 
Okay, check versus Infi. In the blue, we have check with the Demon Hunter, with the uh, Archer. In the red, we have Infi with an Arc Mage, with some Footman. That's, uh, so it's a best of three, I'm pretty sure. Dark Mage is out. He's going to creep this expansion. Of course, we see a normal expansion build here for Infi. None of that uh, Rifleman purse bullshit. Uh, on the other hand, we have a Demon Hunter that got a beautiful close of attack. Um, it's not the circlet. It's not the item you want, but it's a close of attack. It's decent. Let's go for this level four. What item does he want? Well, first of all, you cannot get Lightning Shield here, of course. We're gonna say best of five. Oh, okay, best of five then. I trust the Koreans. I trust them all. We have uh, Sentry Wards. That's the best item he wanted. And uh, what are these peasants doing? They're just chopping lumber. They haven't built a tower yet or anything. Oh, this footman! What is it? Why is the footman there? Are so low health. I don't understand. Gives uh, the XP. Oh, the Demon Hunter surrounded. Oh, I see. The footman was just baiting to surround the Demon Hunter. But his water elemental was uh, instead, so he couldn't refinish that surround and kill the Demon Hunter. We have a replenishment potion here on the Arc Mage. Sentry Ward was placed over there by the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is going for this uh, town hall with the Archer helping, but the Archer hides in the shadows. The Demon Hunter will he get. Nah, he's not going to get it in time. He does have the close of attack, but it's not good enough. This town hall will go up and the archer will survive as well. Killing the wisp as well. Dark mates, pretty happy. The hunter's hall is over here. Upgrading the... Uh, I wonder if this is a scouting hunter's hall. <laughs> Just so when he knows when the human is trying to creep this. I mean, you don't need a, a hunter's hole really for much else. I mean, of course you need it for the. I mean, for much else, you need it for the the tier two, the ancient of lores. But after you get them up, you don't really need it. Uh, besides for upgrades, maybe late, very late game. But uh, getting your hunter's hole killed, not the biggest deal. Okay, he, he has hunters. Of course, hiding the hunter's hole. Because he built it very early, it's very important as well. Actually, we have a Tree of Life still. Should have paid a bit more attention to the base here of Jack. We've seen him do this before, where he doesn't attack very fast and just gets mass huntresses to uh, to pressure this expansion. Two huntresses and the Demon Hunter. We have more AP APs here as well. But man, they uh, they can't win this fight against the demon under two hunters. Why do you think this rifle push is bullshit? Uh, I, I, I just think it's slightly weaker than the towers. I say bullshit, very uh, easy, very easy word there to say, but I mean we have seen uh, human players win with it. It's just something you can uh, win with it consistently against a top knight of player. Or not as much, uh, like the expansion is just more consistent. There he cancels the AP AP. The Demon Hunter with uh, four Huntresses. Go for this last footman. Uh, uh, how do you call these guys? Militia coming in. And the Rifleman gets Michael back. Uh, one, there's no Rifleman. One Hunter's test get Michael back. The towers are going up. We have two guard towers, but they're not up yet. So uh, check and do some damage here. Before these guard towers get up, a mana burn there. He uses scroll of regeneration. But the Hunter's might be able to uh, push through here. Can kill all the militia, all the footmen. TP's out. Kills more footmen and more militia. The towers are up now. Uh, one guard tower at least. The other guard tower is still building. Hunter's aren't very good against the towers. Uh, he has one archer though, and he does get rid of that one tower over there. The demon hunter is surrounded by the pe no, never mind. The gold mine peasants continue mining the gold. Demon hunter losing all his mana there to the arcane tower. 
A PIP being built. More wisps. I guess the other one got uh, cancelled earlier. Wisp detonating. The water elemental gets dispelled. Level 3 demon hunter now. Terror blade. Does he get that uh, huntress? He does get the kill on the huntress. Two more footmen dying as well though. We have uh, still five, six. Six huntresses here. Demon hunter and an archer. The APAP is up. There are two towers up. One guard tower, one arcane tower. Can he walk into range? Try to kill those. Is he uh, maybe going for siege? Clay throwers? No, I don't. Doesn't seem like it. There's only there's no towers in the main here. APAP. APAP stands for Ancient Protector. <laughs> uh, Ancient Protector is being uh, attacked down by the footman. The hunters need to come back to defend it. The footman's so low on hit points. I bet he's going to buy another regeneration scroll and use it. Also has another healing scroll. These creeps are attacking the Ancient of War. AP, a brute. Footman uh, going for the altar, sure. So he's still at tier one. Still at tier one. There is a mer mercenary camp at this uh, on this map, but it's pretty uh, hard to creep, hard to uh, hire any mercenaries. Does get rid of the water elemental. The AP AP does uh, will fall. Uses the heal scroll to heal his footman. One uh, one footman four hit points. This water elemental. Does fall as well. Not just a survive, but I don't think he can uh, can do anything over here. I wonder if in the meantime he should have built APAPs over here because he can do a lot more damage here. There's only one tower, only one guard tower. Because how is Jack gonna win now? He just has huntresses. He's still at tier one. Sure, he has map control. But Infi, the moment he uh, the moment he gets a chance, the moment Check leaves him alone, he immediately goes to the base of Check, hunting down wisps. Oh, there's a glaive thrower. Okay, he's going flame glaive throwers, but this one will get picked off. And there it is, GG. Infi winning game one. Okay, Infi here against Check game two. Top left corner we have Check. Bottom left corner we have Infi. Which is a pretty bad position here for Infi. It's the worst position for Infi. This is hard to creep. This is not really where you build, want to build your expansion. You want to build it over here. So you first creep this. But then the Night Elf can uh, creep jack you. But unless he's going to creep this. Then you uh, as human, as Infi, you can creep this. And maybe creep this. But the Night Elf will have mercenaries. So even if he's not going to creep jack you here. He will creep jack you here with mercenaries. Not the best spawning position for Infi, but it's uh, it's right, it's Infi. We're watching Infi. You guys know how good Infi is. You guys know how good Infi is. Infi is really good. He's insanely good. Demon Hunter here. No Warden. Demon Hunter here for... Uh... Okay, Nothing uh, out of the ordinary just yet. Builds a third farm. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Do any of the. Oh, I should do it like this, right? Yes. You have a. Uh, um, oh, is he gonna steal something? He might steal this forest tall Shadow Priest. He's gonna try it. He's cutting the tree here. I'm not sure if Jack sees it. Can Jack see the peon? Does see the peon now, and uh, it has been stolen here by. Uh, by Infi and he's trying to kill the wisp. Does not get it. It's too risky to go for it. Oh, I'm going for it. Yeah, actually Infi is not what what is Infi even doing? Infi is not even creeping the creep camp, the laboratory. He's just harassing with a footman and the forest or shadow priest. Well it's keeping something easy, nice and easy. He's keeping this creep camp. He can always keep the laboratory later if he wants to. 
Of course, this also means he's close, close to this creep camp. So when the Archmage wants to come over and harass as well, he can do that as well. Maybe even steal an item. Blade Ma Demon Hunter is hunting down his Forest Soul Shadow Priest, but beautiful block here with this Footman. Saving not only this Forest Soul Shadow Priest, also saving the Footman here, but the uh, Peasant. Or really get the Peasant. He might get the Peasant still. Oh, there. He gets in front of a Demon Hunter again. Blocking the Demon Hunter. Very nice blocks here by Infi. I bet he looks very bored on the stream, but I'm very excited to see him play. The uh, Peasant survives, the Footman survives, everything survives. Where is he creeping? Infi is creeping over here. Easy creep. Level 2. Demon Hunter is still level 1. But we have a Ring of Protection here. <gasps> Super Water Man fast! Oh, no, he was too late. The uh, Demon Hunter hit the Mana Burn before he summoned the Water Elemental. He will, hit, uh, he will Mana Burn him again. Meaning that uh, we don't have any Water Elementals anytime soon. Here come the Militia. He doesn't have uh, Dust yet, so the Archers can hide in the shadows. We'll creep this uh, expansion now, maybe, perhaps. Maybe, yes, he's going for the expansion. More militia. The Demon Hunter, what did he buy? Boots! The Demon Hunter, only two moon walls. Interesting. Third one. No uh, water elemental. Well, actually, the cool uh, he has one just right now. This pretty good timing there. Because now he cannot get mana burned. So, uh, well, he, the Force Soul Shadow Priest might get mana burned. Water elemental goes down pretty fast, meaning that uh, now if he's taking damage on his units, there's a mana burn for 25. It's a decent mana burn, but I would have waited a bit longer. Uh, but I'm, of course, a very good player. The, uh, <laughs> the ogre kills the ogre. <laughs> Wait, did he... Uh... I'm not sure if the demon hunter stole anything. Uh, 48, he kills two peasants so far. Two peasants, and he had 48 XP. Oh no, that was from this creep camp, right? Yeah. So Demon Hunter hasn't stolen anything yet. Just killed two peasants. Gets a parry out here on the Archmage. Archmage is so close to level 3. Just needs two more XP. Uh, do you think if he's going to pull the rival bullshit this time? No. <laughs> no, of course not. Do you see the expansion here? I don't think Infi will ever play the rival bullshit. I've never seen all. Oh, did he cancel that? I'm not sure if... Uh, how much money does Infi have? I'm not sure if he canceled that or if it just got destroyed. No, I've never seen Infi do the rifle bullshit. That's why, uh... I could see TH play the rifle bullshit. And win with it. No, but Infi uh, plays very solid strategies. A town is under siege. There goes the Death Knight. Even on to level 1 with boots. Hunter's Hall is out. What do we have over here, by the way? A Tree of Life of check. The Panda is out. Can the Panda do some damage here? We do have no towers up. Panda might be able to do some damage. In fact, for sure the Panda is going to do some damage. But is he going to kill a lot? That we don't know yet because we are playing against Envy. He could split his... Uh, okay, beautiful <laughs> split of the uh, peasants. Well... I think their Gravel Fire only hit one peasant and maybe some footmen. Two footmen at most, because the other ones are still full hit points. So that was a pretty bad Gravel Fire. Air Mana Burn on the Archmage. It was pretty... No, it wasn't relevant. He can still summon the Water Elemental. So it wasn't uh, really relevant. If you can get the Mana Burn now, that's more relevant. There it is. Beautiful Mana Burn. Now it will take a little bit before the Archmage can summon Water Elemental, but Bones Aura just is insane. So much mana regeneration on the Archmage. Panda has a greater ma potion of mana. Of a 2 Demon Hunter. First of all, Shadow Priest being focused for. Oh, Berserker surrounded! Okay, the Water Elemental gets his spell, the Berserker is saved. It was a very nice, uh, very crucial dispel there on the bottom elemental. Saving the Berserker is such a big deal. Now the first of all, Shadow Priest does fall. And the Footman, they are going to fall as well. The Berserker is still alive, of course. There's Moon Juice over here. So he's never going to die. Ancient of Lords are up. They're building Dryads. Uh, is Infi already tier 2? Now he's attacking to keep. How many towers? One tower here. The Panda hunting down the Footman. Demon Hunter with boots, hunting down this footman here as well. 
Oh, the Arc Mage. Does he find our expo? Did he find the expo already? Scouted for it. Oh, he's not scouting for it. Maybe he saw it already. He saw it was a tree of life. The realized he cannot do anything anymore against the tree of life he cannot cancel it anymore the archmage by himself cannot kill the tree of life in the base there's a lumber mill going up here for infi archmage hunting down wisps and dryads well the demon hunter kills a peasant now it's going to cancel this arcane vault maybe the militia are trying to defend it demon hunter Cannot cancel it, the peasant does finish it. Put my two, uh, two militia here. I think now Shadow Song, the Death Demon Hunter. 10 Flame Caster, level 3. Riots. Ah. Okay, creeping the panda to level 3 is pretty important here. Oh, harassing with the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is still level 2 though. Level 1 mana burn is just. Doesn't feel like it's enough. Okay, so he's going for this uh, Fortress Shadow Priest, but Zeppelin Ball, the Zeppelin, the Gets and Snare, Shredder Ball as well. With the Shredder, he can uh, creep this pretty fast. Shredder does so much damage. There's Knight Vanna Burn there on the Archmage. Water Mantle goes down. The Demon Hunter didn't get it. Build of Accuracy, that's like the best item here for the Archmage. The entire human army later will be ranged, so plus 10% on the entire army is beautiful. Just, just really nice. Panda Dome creeping here. What item did he get? Boots of Speed. Nice. Nice item. Wait, did he get the Boots of Speed? From here? Alright. Does this give a Boots of Speed? Yeah, I guess it does. Yeah. So, uh, Boots of Speed on Panda. Uh, it's gonna be irrelevant. Man burn for 28, I don't like that man burn. So uh, it's just level 1 mana burn anyway, so the max is 50. Panda creeping some more. It's just gonna creep the entire map over here while the Archmage is creeping over here. Towers, more towers. I like towers. Infi beautifully placed towers. Mount King is uh, almost out. Defend is upgraded, or is being upgraded. Don't see, uh, of course, on Twisted Meadows. What do we see? We see tanks. We'll see some workshops later. I don't see any sanctums. I don't see any birdie aviaries. Don't see anything else. Don't see second barracks either. Don't see blacksmith yet. Oh, there's a sanct. Oh, he does a blacksmith. Uh, he does go for one arcane sanctum. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not tanks. Kills one of the towers. Very easy to kill with the archers. Berserker and drives a. Mountain King fighting by himself. He has three uh, ivory towers, by the way. Maybe he was going to place his own over here so he can build expansion over there. Meanwhile, the Archmage uh, hunting down anything over here. Maybe uh, he can cancel this Ancient of Wonders. Mountain King still defending by himself. He did kill both the archers. Level 1 Stormbolt. Just pretty good. Pretty good. Five of these footmen, they do have defense. Angel of War, what? Angel of War walking into the base of Infi. This tower will go down. The Berserker is pretty low though. Did he use a scroll of healing there? Looks like he did. This uh, tower will fall. And Infi's brace, uh, base is going to be broken. He might have to uh, TP home. I mean, I don't even think he can do much here. There's a bear with a depth. Are they master yet soon? He's not even upgrading master. Demon Hunter so close to dying. Regina Vision just saving his uh, base. We got a bunch of peasants. It's just a panda and, and a few riots, but it's enough. Angel of War, of course. It's enough to uh, push through. Demon Hunter and the bears going to help. Okay, there's a TP. Panda in danger. He's on the wrong side of the human army. He could maybe exit the base on the right side over there. But I don't know. Some mismikers maybe? Oh, he can walk around this way. Okay, that was his plan all along. Demon Hunter here in the front. Demon Hunter has, still has a TP. But if he gets storm bolted, okay, there's no mana for storm bolt. There's a TP. Five, four drives here. This bear though, this bear. Can he kill the bear? Please kill the bear. 
bear. I think you kill, could have killed a bear if you just right clicked it immediately. It uh, survived with 18 hit points. Looking very good for Jack. Jack has an expansion. Envy uh, also has an expansion, but lost so many peasants, so many towers. Like, how much gold did he lose in the gold mine? He's uh, 800 gold behind, and he lost like what, 15 peasants? Expansion even from here for Jack. Uh, does does Jack have no respect for Infi's base? It was outrageous that the agents of war just walked into Infi's base. It's disgraceful. Disgraceful. They all doesn't seem like it. Yeah. That plane flying over the trees. I mean, uh, yeah, no respect. I mean, it's just like all his base belongs to Jack. That's what's happening here. Panda with extra mana. Too much mana on the panda. Uh, Infi's just creeping. Oh no, never mind. TP's home. For a second, I thought he was gonna creep the rest creep camp. Uh, he has a paladin third. A bunch of footmen is just gonna get haste and breath of fire. He forgot the breath of fire. There's a breath of fire. There's a nice mana burn there on the mountain king. That's the uh, anti magic potion. The pa paladin does go down. Mountain king does not have any mana left for no more storm bolts. But uh, Jack does retreat here. Of course, the Shredder is just too strong. Can't fight against the Shredder. But then uh, rebought from the tavern. Our player's forces are under attack. 65 supply against 52. There's a nice mana burn on the Mountain King, although he could have storm bolted there. Oh, three bears attacking the Mountain King, or is this one? No, one is attacking the Footman. The Mountain King survives because one bear was. Uh, well, thought the footman was high priority. The shredder just getting this this dry. That could have been Micro. Bit of miss Micro there for a check. The shredder man doing so much damage. How much lumber does uh, Infi have? About 1k lumber. That's plenty. Do we have a shredder by the way for check as well? I don't see it over here. Maybe. No, I don't see a shredder. But check still has 500 lumber. So I guess he has plenty of wisps on the lumber. Better just shredding of a workshop. So yeah, he did well go casters obviously. Out of his one sanctum. Now we will go mortar teams, I assume. He's going knights as well. Is it too late? Chaco, can you explain how holy light works in real life? Explain by an analogy. I just don't buy it that someone can heal someone else. With an axe or whatever it is in the paladin's hand. It's a hammer, man! The paladin has a hammer. Our player's forces are under attack. The hammer. It's kind of like... Uh, what is it like? We have a staff here on the arc base. Nice storm bolt on this pallet, on this bear. Uh, mana burn there on the mountain king. There's a breath of fire. Level 5 panda, by the way, already. Was not paying attention. Level five panda, and uh, there was holy light on the the mountain king. It's like sending sending a wire transfer. That's kind of how you should see it. TP and TP out here, but he only has uh, he doesn't have much but towers there. Panda so strong, he's killing this fiend, uh, this knight. Right, it's, it's just all it happens through the internet. Right, so just like you make a wire transfer, you send like twenty dollars to. Uh, to your favorite streamer, maybe. It's it's very similar. He's just uh, sending cells through the internet to the Mountain King. Then the Mountain King uh, uses those cells and they uh, replace the wounds in his body. And they will heal, heal him. That's how it works.
player's forces are under attack. <laughs> Pandas can't read. Pandas can't read because they're always drunk. I, I bet they can read if they are... Uh, if they're sober, maybe a panda can read. The drunk pandas, they can't. We have uh, the bears going for the castle. The castle, by the way, how many masonry upgrades? Two, of course. Well, of course. I'd like to see a third one always. Always. Come, uh, here's a fight. It's not the best position here for a night elf for a check. But he feels like he has such a bigger army, he can go for it. He has 30 supply uh, advantage, he will kill this knight. Nice breath of fire, all these uh, militia um, peasants. Very low health, uh, a few of them die there with a knight here flanking. The knight uh, is running away, he's afraid. Some uh, dispels on the water elemental of course, for some more uh, XP. How close is the panda to level 6? He has the potion of mana, so when he gets level 6 he can use the, invo uh, the uh, ultimate. While our bear goes down. We have one bear of still very low hit points and two bears of decent hit points. There's regeneration on that bear. There's no spellbreaker. Oh, there's one left, but doesn't steal the regeneration. Please steal the regeneration, Infi. I know. Oh, he did. He saw the regeneration and GG. Infi loses game two. We have a 1 1 score, and this is so exciting. Infi just beats uh, one on map against. Check this one on map against Infi. Isn't that amazing? That means we have a pretty good uh, series on our hands. No 3 0. Hunter and Archer here for in for uh check. Archmates for Infi. Archmage is out. What's gonna creep? The turtles? Like it. And Demon Hunter, same thing on the opposite side. Okay, he was the Slippers of Agility, of course. Slippers of Agility is the best. Mantle of Intelligence is probably the second best, still, even though on the Demon Hunter himself, he probably won the Gauntlet for August Time. But on the second hero, which is going to be um, the, the mana is going to be useful. Archmage also gets a mantle of intelligence, of course, for the Archmage is the best item. So Infi is very happy. He's going to creep the red creep camp next to his base. I'm not sure why the demon hunter walked over here. Standing AFK over here. He knows what's happening. Here's a wisp. Okay. Can't believe Check is in the final. Well, he might win it. He's already 1-1. Well, it's 1-1. One, one. He won one game, one map. The uh, Archmage uh, hunting down this forest soul warlord. Oh, the footman. The footman will go down there to the archer and demon hunter. Actually, the archer just killed the demon hunter. Could have come back to the fight way earlier. Well, the archer just killed the footman. Uh, more intelligence here for the Archmage and more a tome of intelligence as well. This is how you increase your IQ. The Archmage just went to 33 IQ. From 23, uh, 23 to 33. That's uh, almost as smart as Grubby. He just needs uh, 22 or more IQ. The Demon Hunter, Mana Burning, the Archmates, or 35, but with so much IQ, it will be back up to a decent amount of mana in no time. But then uh, the Peasants killing this last Ogre. Can the Demon Hunter steal it? 212 XP on the Demon Hunter. He kills the Peasant. That's a nice one. Can he kill the Ogre? He cannot kill the Ogre. The Archmates with his IQ. Throwing uh, fireballs that are extra hot because of his high IQ. Demon Hunter hunting down the Archmage. He does not have boots yet. No boots. And there's the expansion. Demon Hunter do something about it. He doesn't have immolation. He just has mana burn and uh, evasion. Nothing strange. He doesn't go Huntresses this game. He tries to hunt down the peasant. He does, does get that peasant. And now he's going for the next peasant. This peasant. Uh, that's the archer. The demon hunter couldn't get to uh, the peasant, but the uh, archer killed the peasant. Infi giving game away right now. Well, lose that much. He lost some peasants. 
There goes another footman. The archer just, uh, this archer got so many kills. This archer has like five kills. Footman survives for now. Uh, Archmage does not have boots, but uh, Demon Hunter has to TP. TP. Archmage is doing too much damage. This, and uh, if he gets another mantle of intelligence, man, this is gonna be so insane. This Archmage, okay, Cloak of Shadows. At least the Archmage can hide now from the Demon Hunter. Just like these archers can hide from the Archmage. Is he uh, just going to buy dust? Leave his footman over here, buy dust? Maybe. Where's the Demon Hunter? Demon Hunter is uh, over here. Has a bunch of archers here as well. Four, seven archers. A lot of archers here for check. Key of life in his main base. Hunter's Hall is almost up. What are you doing here? Just waiting here. That's a level three Archmage, by the way. So level two water elementals. Footman scouts the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter also, <coughs> also just level two. Level two. We have one arcane tower. Nice hidden. We have uh, water elementals. Water elemental being hunted down by a demon hunter. But uh, he survives for now. Archers surrounded by water elementals. That's the name of this game. If this was a movie, they'd make the name, the title of the movie, Surrounded by Water Elementals. Sounds so epic. This water elemental. Uh, oh, oh no, he almost surrounded the demon hunter, saving the water elemental, but the water elemental will fall, and that's some nice XP there for the demon hunter. Well, this water elemental fell as well. So that's uh, 58 for both the Arch uh, for both the Demon Hunter and the Panda. The Archmage will cancel this Ancient of Lore though. And Wisp Detonate means that he cannot summon another Water Elemental. Maybe he could have gotten the Tree of Light. I don't think so. Maybe he could have gotten the second Ancient of Lore if that uh, Detonate didn't happen. Demon Hunter Mana Burn on the Archmage is a beautiful Mana Burn, but so much intelligence he will be back up to uh 125 mana in no time this is surround oh what i missed around there could have uh, gotten that surround easy peasy use a scroll of regeneration just for the archmax pretty much like this uh footman that was hurt the most didn't even get the scroll of regeneration uh detonates on the wisp so again the archmax doesn't have mana for water elemental there comes the Demon Hunter again, another mana burn. Archmage is down to 45 mana. Blacksmith being built over here. We have uh, Angels of Lore. Angels of Lore. Wisps. <laughs> Building Wisp out of the, this Tree of Life. While uh, upgrading Nature's, Nature's Blessing out of the Tree of Ages. Footman against Panda. He has a scroll of protection here to protect his footman. He also has a scroll of uh, healing. Breath of Fire, I think the panda got it, panda, yeah, panda got the kill, but the item of course went to the Archmage, it's a uh, ring of regeneration though, it's uh, not going to be very useful anymore, I mean it would have been useful earlier, but it's probably pretty close to priests, and you don't need that ring anymore. Sanctum, the Arcan Sanctum being built here. What a noob Infi is. Grubby surrounds with four grams while Infi struggles with a million foodies. Such a shame. Uh, I'm not sure if Grubby would have had that surround, but I'm pretty sure Happy would have surrounded uh, with those footmen. There's a breath of fire. Don't you want a Fanta? You want a Fanta? Man, I'm so hungry. I rather than Fanta, I want a pizza. Do you want to uh, go for the footman? Let's see. Do you want Focusing the Archmage. The footmen are pretty low. Does he have to TP out? He use the info potion. I'm not okay. Use the scroll of healing. So the footmen are uh, pretty healthy. We have a bunch of archers here and uh, dryads. And no bears yet, still no bears, but the tree of life walks into a creep while he's still fighting the footman. The footman going for the panda. The panda is, uh, is very low health, but he lets the panda go. 
Archimedes will have to TP. There is a TP. He kills some archers though. Tree of Life sits down on his face on his ass and starts entangling the gold mine already. Just wants his gold mine up as soon as possible. We have uh, bears finally. Dead bears. While well, on the other hand we have uh, priests. We have double arcane sanctum. Do we have a workshop? No workshop. Is he getting a rifleman? No rifleman either. So far just our Sa arcane sanctum units. And here is 48 spike and 48. Infi is uh, creeping over here. Of course, he, he has this center ward. He has this one as well. We'll see this. You will see this over here. Beautiful. Uh, let's see what item he gets over here. This item could win or lose the game. Well, not really lose the game, but... You know, the uh, guess the ogre wins the game. Uh, again, I guess a good item. He, he might win the game. Uh, Legion Doomhorn. That's a pretty good one, right? That's a pretty good one. It's not the best one. It's a pretty good. It's one of the best ones. It might actually be the second best one after uh, Endurance Aura. It's pretty good. Cute upgrades, that's pretty amateur for Infi. Uh, doesn't really matter. I don't think actually it's a bad, bad to queue upgrades. Because he's not going over 50 supply, right? Okay, never mind. He went over 50 supply. But uh, at that moment, he didn't want to use his gold for anything else anyway. He knew he was going to get the second upgrade, so might as well save your APM for later, right? It's easy to upgrade, uh, to click them both at one time. Then later you have a bit more uh, APM available, actions available that you don't have to upgrade. You might forget about it later if you are uh, in a fight or something. And since he's not going to use that gold, it, it, he's always going to get a second upgrade afterwards anyway. So I don't mind. I don't mind. Like of course in uh, theory. In like, uh, yeah, in theory, it's not it's not the best play. But if you oh, what is this? The chain lightning only hit the one one wisp. But if you consider that your uh, APM is kind of a resource, you you don't you cannot always micro everything perfect and macro everything perfect. I think it's just uh, I I think it's fine in this in that position at least. Anyway, he's going for the tree of life. Uh, there, this uh, sources. Does go down. Does he get the Tree of Life in time? He does have more teams to remember. He did go right, man. The uh, Ancient, the Tree of Life survived with 80 hit points. Just barely. Panda. So much damage. Will be a caster right first in team winner with Ivory Tart on the Expo with or Militia. Do you think Infi believes in Infinity? I, I don't even know what that means. Of course Infi believes in Infinity. That's why his name is Infi. We have the uh, Rope of the Magi on the Archmage and a lot of mana actually on these heroes for uh, Infi as well. Here we have a fight. We only have three bears by the way. Only 60 supply here for check while we have 78 here for Infi. Uh, this should be uh, easy or a fight Infi can win. This bear staffed out. No, no staff? Oh, he has staff. Don't know why he didn't staff out the bear. Uh, but now there's only two bears. Okay, two more bears coming in. Four bears. Uh, they don't even regenerate this dryad. There was a misplay there by check. Okay, there's a nice, nice breath of fire. And uh, four bears, that's that's all right. But there are three bears, very low. Does he have his healing scroll? He does not. The demon hunter run pretty low as well. Of course, the legion doomhorn helps these bears regenerate very slowly still. But one more bear does fall. It is also night, by the way. So they have a bit better regeneration as well. The panda is being focused. Oh, the spellbreaker moves in position. There goes the panda, it's looking very good here for Infi. Level 5 Archmage, level 4 Naga. And this bear will fall as well. This Tree of Life, he cannot defend this Tree of Life. And Infi didn't even get Mortar Teams. Didn't even get the Blizzard. And he's just winning against Night Elf, against Bears. Isn't that insane? That's pretty insane. He has 1-2 upgrades on the Spellbreakers. 
The bears are uh, zero, 0 the archers are also zero, 0 This water elemental can be dispelled for lots of uh, XP, but he only has one dryad actually for dispel. Gets two dispels off, I believe. And I think he killed it. A senior citizen panda micro. Oh, this tree of life will fall for sure. But he's gonna fire. Oh, okay, four lightning, three wisps. And there are three wisps here to detonate. There are the detonates. Uh, yeah, there's, I don't think there's a way for uh, Jack to come back in this game. Lose the demons or this GG. If he's pulling the rifle bullshit, you promised that he wouldn't. No, 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 that's not the rifle bullshit. That's not at all. That's not the timing perch that if it fails, he loses the game. That was just a rifle attack. <laughs> that was he had the expansion. It's different. It's a completely different strategy. We have a lot of players online today, by the way. So after the checkup, uh, not checkup, after the whole scope, we might have some interesting games. No GG race quit by check. We never see GG because we don't see the chat. Uh, when we watch games on Netties, you don't see the chat at all. So we have to wait for the next game. They're still in the room. They're probably going to start the game soon. But while we're waiting, we might as well eat a snake or two. Tasty one or like the scary one with those big eyes. Oh, it's Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Okay. Uh, hope hope she's not angry that I just ate her. I just ate Nicki Minaj, guys. Ah, oh, this guy is too good for me. I want to uh, eat him, but he saw it coming. Use his turbo to get out out of there. Get to safety. This guy. This guy, they did not get to safety. And that guy just killed himself. Killed them guys, but they're just snakes. These snakes. Hmm, we have some snakes over here. Someone is gonna die here. I feel it. I can feel it in my uh, intuition brain. Thing. Mm. That was stupid. I didn't want to go that way, but uh, my accuracy isn't perfect. Of course, I'm I'm still playing with a vertical mouse, so I have uh, pretty bad accuracy with an, with a vertical uh, with a horizontal mouse. I'm pretty sure I would have killed that guy instead of died there. I have so many good excuses, man. I'm so good as a streamer. Uh, the game is uh, is up, but we cannot join it yet. They're still uh, waiting for the. We're still waiting for the three minute delay to reach the three minute mark before we can join that game. So let's see if we can can uh, eat some more famous personalities. Oh, damn it! That's always so risky uh, when you do that, but. When you're small, there's no risk. When's your first dinner of your life? Uh, you should take the risk there. This is probably our last, uh, our last snakey before we watch the next game. Top two. Well, that's nice. Okay, America. Okay, let's go. Should we eat America? <laughs> N.A. <laughs> that, was, that, that snake was so N.A, man. Oh my God. Ah, oh, I thought I, I was there in time, but no, I wasn't. 
Okay, the game is up. Game is up. Game four between uh, who do we have here? Game four between Czech and Infi. Infi is two zero, uh, two one ahead over Czech. Infi in the top left, Czech in the top right. Do we see a warden in this game? Do we see more demon hunter? I don't remember really seeing uh, Czech with the warden. I do remember seeing Czech with the demon hunter a lot, very often. We'll see demon hunter. Just look at it. Look, that's a demon hunter. Waiting for the demon hunter. Anything strange going on here for Infi? Not really. No, nothing. Scouting with this uh, this peasant, this militia. We will scout what Jack is doing. Is Infi, Infi going to creep Jack in maybe? Or is he gonna creep himself? Where's the the rally point? Can we see his rally point? I don't know. Dark mage. Our players' forces are under attack. The arc mage. Going to creep his expansion. Just call his expansion ASAP. He knows he can uh, safely creep uh, keep it safely right now, because uh, we have check. Over here, keeping the creeps camp over here. Does get the parry up to vitality. The demon hunter. Archmage, uh, let's see what he gets. He gets a ring of protection. Not a very good item here for the uh, Archmage. Uh, of course, the same here for the demon hunter. The parry up, not very good either. Our player's forces are under attack gonna build a tower he's gonna to chop some lumber first he's going straight for the town hall because he knows he has some time he knows the demon hunter was screaming over here <laughs> demon hunter being blocked there by the angel of war finally the angel of war lets him through the footman here being annoying against the archer demon hunter uh footman retreats the wisp here oh he does get the wisp he get the xp for the wisp that was not in detonate what are these peasants doing there is the town hall. No tower yet. But the footman now sees the archer. He knows where the demon hunter is heading. And what is Infi going to do about it? How late it is, is it? It's almost 7. So he can buy boots. He can buy staff. He can buy a lot of other items as well. That's the staff. That's the circlet. No boots, but he does have a staff and he goes in the main base. He hasn't picked the skills yet. He can't go emulation. There's no arcane tower here. But can he actually kill any peasants? We're talking about Infi here. Infi never loses units. And Michael his peasants. Not lose a single peasant against this demon hunter with emulation. Archway is coming back home to defend some sort of water element. Oh, some is out of the base. What a bad summon on the water elemental. Footmen are hunting down the demon hunter now. Who wins the fight? One footman or one demon hunter? Footman does have backup from this forest soul shadow priest. Now the demon hunter go for the forest soul shadow priest. Um. Demon hunter in the main base is uh, quite annoying. He's getting an arcane tower over here. Do we see an expansion for for uh, what's his name? Check just jet. I don't see anything. I don't even see the Hunter's Hole. Hunter's Hole. Team Hunter fighting Militia. This one Militia is going to fall. Meanwhile, Archers and Berserkers uh, fighting against Militia over there. Uh, it seems like Infi just fighting with Militia everywhere. Okay, he moves his Archmage and some Footmen over here to defend. Losing Militia over here. Team Hunter killing Militia and Peasants and everything over there. Doing uh, quite effective harassment here, check is. Archmage hunting down the Forest Soul Shadow Priest. You know, to get one more peasant, and he has to staff out. He's level 3 though, or TP's out in fact. He was down to uh, 90, 
Five hit points, so uh, staff wouldn't be, be enough anymore. What do we have over here? We have a tree of life here for check. Still no hunter's hole though. Is he uh, okay? It's actually, it's not the timing for the hunter's hole yet. There's a hypothetical question for you. If Chinese only played with Chinese, Europeans with Europeans, and Koreans with Koreans, and after practicing for five years, do you think they will all arrive at the same strategies? Given they all start from point zero. No, I don't think so. I think uh, sometimes just one player can change the meta completely by going a different strategy. If the best player of a race plays a different strategy, then everyone will copy him and everyone will counter him. Anyway, uh, there goes Footman, uh, Demon Hunter with Immolation, level 1, Immolation, level 1, Mana Burn, level 1, Evasion. This, uh, that Footman went down as well, I think he killed it himself. Archmage is so close to level 3, there he is, level 3 Archmage. Demon Hunter, Mana Burns, the Forest Soul Shadow Priest. Kills that uh, Cobalt. Also the Footman, Footman went down as well. Killed three footmen here. I think he only got XP for two of them. Panda is out. Panda and a bunch of race units. These footmen are still a little bit hurt. Uh, is Infi at tier two yet? He's not. He just goes to keep right now. It's Panda, can he do some damage here? We have dispels. We have mana for dispel. He can just kill the water elemental. Panda use breath of fire. I think he cancelled at least. One or two uh, scrolls of uh, regenerations on the units. Here comes the demon hunter. He's back in action. The tree of life is walking to the expansion. Meanwhile, the hunter's hall has been finished. Uh, Ancient of Lords being built as well. Demon hunter going for the, the archmage. Archmage going down pretty fast. Uses TP to get somewhere safe, like over here maybe. Over here. He uses a scroll for regeneration. Can he hunt down that Archmage? No, the Archmage is too fast. We don't have boots anyway. Oh, we do have boots on the Demon Hunter, in fact. He can hunt down whatever he wants. Hunts down the Footman. There's a Water Elemental over here. Oh, he tried to surround it, but he missed it. Goes for the Footman. Who would invent... Who would have invented the rifle bullshit first? Koreans, Chinese, or Europeans? Oh, the Archmage does go down. Uh, the Europeans, of course, because they, that's all they do today as well. All the Europeans play uh, the bullshit rifle, the rifle bullshit, and uh, pretty much none of the Chinese and Korean play it. Apparently, only only reprisal plays it. AM suicide move. Yeah, that was kind of weird how he just walked right into the army of uh, Nido. He does rebuy the archmage. There weren't enough towers here. Just one tower. But he, uh, the Berserker will fall, and there's not a big army here for uh, check either. He just had four range units, two archers, two Forest Soul Shadow Priests. He's hunting down these Forest Soul Shadow Priests of, uh, of Infi. Gets one of them. Oh, again, the Archmage has in trouble. He can buy a healing potion now. I think he's tier two. I think he's tier two. Doesn't need it yet, though. Yeah, he buys a healing potion. Human Hunter level four, though. Going Blood Mage second. Okay, I love that Blood Mage. Blood Mage is so good. It goes for Arcane Sanctum. Double Arcane Sanctum. Meanwhile, the Panda is hugging the trees here. The Panda and his army. Maybe AM. Oh, wait a second. The Archmage uh, against you again. I think now there's Forest Soul Shadow Priest. Can he kill it? He does get a kill. Do we have Dispel and Rise yet? Not yet. There's one elemental. Just begging to be dispelled, but there's no Dispel. Demon Hunter, uh, nice mana burn there. Maybe AM was a martyr, Mar martyr. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Martyr, martyr. Maybe he believed that he died. Check, uh, check would. Oh, maybe he believed that he died. Check would let go the rest of the army as a sign of respect. Don't you think that? Um, I mean. Is there any other, is there any better explanation? I think that's the best explanation I heard so far. 
of the Archmaster's running through the army of the Night Elf. Night Elf savages would never understand those kinds of abstract concepts. They're dumb ass Aussies. Okay. Well, that's why, uh, that's why it drives pounds around like kangaroos. Because of the similar intelligence levels between Australians and uh, drives. Anyway, <laughs> I hope I don't have any Australian viewers. <laughs> the Blood Mage uses the Info Potion. The uh, Archmage is going down fast. Archmage, Archmage dies. Blood Mage dies. GG. Check wins game uh, four. It's a 2 2. Because here is the decider. The winner, the, the, how do you call it? One, uh, one's 2-2 two, two, and uh, the the signing match. There's a name for it, like, damn, I don't know. Anyway, the, the winner of this map will win 3-2-2 two, two, and will win Hallscope week number seven. Match point, is that what I'm talking about? They're on, on match point. Uh, play a demon hunter level two. He does have a uh, band of intelligence, gloves of haste. Here the Archmage, Mantle of Intelligence, Circlet. Much better items here for uh, for the Archmage. It's not really winner takes all though, because the same price is uh, like what? What did I say? Around 170 USD. The number one price though, a lot more, more than two times as much, I believe. But it depends on the nations to uh, to the host cup. We have water elementals. Maybe uh, I should get the link somewhere, like. So if people want to donate, I can at least tell you guys where to donate to the Hoss Cup because 50% uh, of the donations go to uh, the number one prize. This uh, Militia, can you get a Militia? He got the XP for the Militia. Archmage for a fireballs here on the Doom Hunter. Demon Hunter goes back to try to kill the Archmage. Archmage running around the footman, all around the Water Elemental. The Rock Column still alive. Infi continues keeping here. Summons more Militia here, Demon Hunter. Kills the water elemental here, even more XP. Immolation is almost out of mana here. The rock golem, maybe can sneak, uh, sneak in and kill the rock golem. Maybe with the archers, the demon hunter very low on hit points though. The footman does fall and the archers, they can't do enough damage there to kill the rock golem. Uh, he TPs with one archer, but the other two uh, archers don't. TP, we have Landazer here for Infi. We all know that's the best archmage you can get, Landazer. That's why he got the best items. Well, the, the Demon Hunter got the Gloves of Haste. It's not really that great of an item, I believe, in this matchup. Well, it's decent. It's decent. Decent. The Demon Hunter here with the Cloak of Flames. All these footmen have to run away. Oh, Skull of the Beast being used. This Demon Hunter going down fast. These footmen doing so much damage. 15 to 16, one archer goes down. This archer gets a uh, firebolt from the back. Oh no, now he switches to this archer. We have uh, six footmen, two of them go for the wisp. Of course, he doesn't want to get the scroll of the beast detonated. So he split his footmen. Land laser creeping here. Well, what is the demon hunter doing? He's gonna heal back up. We have an ancient of wonders going up. No, uh, no tree of life yet. Is he going to build? Does he have hunters all, by the way? There's an Angel of Wind, double Angel of Wind, no Hunter's Hole. It's going all in. This is an all in play here by uh, Jack. Trying to kill this expansion with the Druids of the Talon. On this map, uh, mercenaries, uh, they are not that hard to get. He can defend with mercenaries later, but here comes the emulation. Yeah, there it is. These footmen are dying to the emulation. We have our archers. Killing them as well. Here come the militia flank. This uh, archer has to run. She's uh, 46 hit points. It's the water metal being focused down. Six archers. Another footman does go down. The archer survives because the water metal did expire. Another footman goes down. Demon hunter pretty low. We got Naga second by the way. Did I already say that? I don't know. But the uh, amount of intelligence of course. Very nice on the Naga. This archer being sniped. But will she survive? There's no boots on the Archmage, so yes, he does survive. The Water Elemental will help creeping over here. What item does he want? He wants, of course, Senti Words. Gauntlet of Ogre Strength. Wait, what? Senti Words? You don't get Senti Words over here. What am I saying? 
Uh, Gondor for Ogre Strength. Uh, he wanted the Mantle of Intelligence. That's what he wanted. I mean, it would be nice if you got Sentry Wards here, but something would be wrong if you could, could get Sentry Wards over there. The, Ar the Water Elemental fighting gets a uh, Archer. Can he stack the Archer? He does get the Archer there. He sees the Druids at the Tatum now. With the Fairy Fire on the Water Elemental, it goes down very fast. Two Druids of the Tatum. Is he building more? He does have double Ace of Wind, right? So it's all in, all in, totally all in. I'm not sure if I like that. I think I like one Angel of Wind better and then build some offensive offensive Angels of Wars with the rest of your money. What is Water and Elemental will go down? What is Infi gonna buy here? Naga? I assume it's gonna be Naga. Is he tier two yet? Oh, he's still at tier one. Never mind. No Naga anytime soon. We have uh Three towers, well, two towers and one tower opens up. Three towers defending there. We have no towers in the main. One, okay, one tower in the main. A town is under siege. It's archers, yeah, they can't do anything over here. This archer, one hit point. Moonwell's pretty low 50 50. 50. Shredder cutting the trees here. We have uh, three, four, eight peasants on top of the shredder. Oh, a sapper. Well, meanwhile, uh, what's his face? Infi is going for the move all. He gets one. He goes for the next move all. Level four Archmage now. Archer died there. Probably was a one hit point Archer. There goes another footman. Can he defend you though? He has level four uh, Archmage, but we have four dudes of the Talon and four archers. Dudes of the Talon take care of these footmen so efficiently, even though they have defend. Defend does nothing against Dudes of the Talon. There goes the water elemental. This footman goes down as well. He's building, rebuilding the farms, so there's no demon hunter running into his base. Does he, have, uh, he does have masonry level 1, he needs a masonry level 2. He does have uh, the money, I think. Oh no, uh, no he doesn't. <laughs> if he doesn't have a lot of money, neither does Jack, they're both... Uh, of course, they have very little money because they spend all their money on units trying to defend or trying to uh, attack there for, of course, for check. This is his emulation, but it's almost, he's almost out of ma money, uh, mana. Let's get the water elemental. Naga level two and a half. Five foot man. Move over here. Full mana. mana. Check. If he cannot push through here, he's probably gonna lose in the long run. The Druids of the Talon aren't very good long late game. He's not even using them anymore. He, oh, he's uh, supply stock at 40. Check supply stock. There goes the Angels of War. Now Infi has a lot of gold. And check as well. Can you tell them to hurry up? I got to go soon. Um, Archer. Up. Uh, so soon. Great. I told them. A player's forces are under attack. There's a nice mana burn there on the Archmage. He's uh can he get the Archmage now? Naga doesn't have boots. Oh, he tried to block with the wisp, but uh, no, the wisp wasn't uh, in the correct position there. Archmage is gonna be safe here. He's almost, he said, almost, yeah, almost at keep, so he can start buying healing potions. Oh, but he walked uh, in front of his base. Losing the Archmage, if he got this, well, okay, the Zeppelin saved the Archmage. If he lost his Archmage there, I'm not sure about it. Okay, the Angel of Wonder is gonna be cancelled. A uh, Sapper being bought here for Infi does actually it wasn't even cancelled, it was just straight up destroyed. The Jews of the Talon they split up because of they're afraid of the Sapper. Uh, the Mumo went down. Yeah, Infi is defending this pretty well. He defended it pretty well, so he should be. Uh, he has. Pretty good advantage. I don't even know what is Czech going to do from here. 
just going to expand. Tree of Life, Hunter's Hole. I mean, switching back into bears, we've seen it before, but it never really works. No, it doesn't really work out. Never mind, goodbye, see you later. Oh, I'm sorry, Panda Burn. I told him to hurry up, but uh, I guess. I'm sorry, Panda Burn. Demon Hunter kills his Fortal Trapper. Level th almost level 4 Demon Hunter. Level 3 Naga. Uh, level 4 Land Laser. And level 1 Mountain King, of course. In a second, there's a workshop. Of course, murder teams. Uh, upgrades. Okay, Sanctum units. Infi creeping over here. Uh, not Infi, this is check, in fact. Check creeping over here. Two info potions and a healing potion on that uh, demon hunter. Maybe give one of these to the Naga. Maybe an info potion. Level 4, level 3 here. Stand agent level 4. Still. Shredder. Shredding the trees apart. Zeppelin. Let's be careful. He could have easily killed the Zeppelin there, by the way, with a... Oh no, he doesn't have Adapt in the Druids of the Thalion. If he had Adapt, he could have crowd formed, but he doesn't have Adapt. The uh, Water Elemental will go down, 58 XP. Quite a lot of XP. There's the first Mortar team. Mount King is also out. Two priests, more sorceresses, uh, spellbreakers. Infi already at uh, 55 supply. It's only 38 here for check. Check, of course, didn't go uh, over 38 or 42 now. Uh, because he didn't want to spend the supply on more archers or more dudes of the Talon. They're useless later on. He wants the dryads, he wants the bears. There's one ancient of lore up over here. Oh, now he built some fairy dragons. Makes sense. I have another real question for you. In Worker 3, we have Potion of Lesser Invulnerability and Potion of Greater Invulnerability. So there should be a middle ground as well. Just like Potion of Invulnerability, why don't we have it? Actually, uh, I'll tell you a secret. I always call this Potion Potion of, in potion of Greater Invulnerability. But actually, Potion of Greater Invulnerability... Does that even exist? I don't think it exists. This one is just called Potion of Invulnerability. That's right. And the, lo the lesser one, the smaller one is Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. But I don't, uh, I call them this, I call this one Potion of Greater Invulnerability because it's uh, consistent with the Potion of Greater Mana and Potion of Greater Healing. So people know exactly what I'm talking about if I say Potion of Greater Invulnerability. There's Potion of Divinity, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the 25 second, uh, 25 second one, yeah. But I don't think there's a potion of uh, greater invulnerability that's like in between there somewhere. The rock column killing the archers. One archer died there, the second one. Uh, does, the demon hunter dies. Okay, no, he doesn't die. He was storm bolted. Oh, he's going to die after all. No, he doesn't die. He gets stuffed out. <laughs> Granite golem with the mountain king. That's a nice combination, man. They should work together. Mountain king with Granite golem. Stormbolt something and then attack with the Granite Golem and you kill anything. But, uh, oh, Catgar's Pipe of Inside. That would have been so nice for check, but uh, Infi doesn't really need it. Should have killed the Golem first. Yeah. There's a Water Elemental. Level 3 Water Elementals now. We have a level 5 Archmage, by the way, and a level 3 Mountain King. Somewhere. Where is the Mountain King? Here he is, he's buying uh, items. Buys two healing scrolls and an info potion. No Tome of Retraining yet. Uh, Chimiko or Sok would totally get Tome of Retraining and win this game 100% of the time. Infi doesn't get Tome of Retraining, but he's still gonna win 100% of the time because he's Infi. And he has a bigger army. Infi, 75 supply, 58 only for check. Only two bears. Two bears and three Druids of the Talon. Druids of the Talon, uh, they die very fast against these mortar teams. So just two mortar teams, but they kill everything very fast. They don't even have fragmentation shards. Demon Hunter against the Mountain King, he used the Info Potion. 
Mana burns the Mountain King. Mountain King still has two healing scrolls. He doesn't even need that. Doesn't even need to use healing scrolls because there's nothing damage besides the Spellbreaker, but you can save it with Zeppelin if he really wants to. Uh, staff out on the Demon Hunter. These uh, Ancients are probably going to die here. And can, uh, can check hold on somehow. Doesn't have any gold left. Tree of Life is very late. How is that other ancient? Okay, here comes uh, here comes Jack. We have a fight here. Mana burn for 43. At least there's no mana on the Mountain King. The Zeppelin is a bit in the, too far back. Well, at least it's safe. Here it comes. It can't save anything. A murder team, what is he doing? He's going for the Tree of Life. The murder team is just killing the Tree of Life while he's fighting this fight. This is how far if he's behind. He does lose one murder team though. The, the Demon Hunter almost just dying to Spellbreakers. Oh, the Zeppelin goes down. This murder team is dizzy. But the Tree of Life is uh, is going to fall here. Only two Wisps repairing. The Mountain King has to be a little bit careful. There's a healing scroll. He has uh, one more and the Info Potion as well. And there it is. GG. Check uh, loses to Infi. Infi wins the Horoscope weekly number 7.